Inshallah, today we start the 11th juz. Uh, um, so, Rabbi Shahli Sadri wa Yasirli Amri wa Hlul Uqadata Min Lisani Yafkahu Qawli. Allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'anta wa sahlatan. Innama as-sabilu ala alladhina yasta'zinunaka. Only those who uh, seek permission for you, wahum agniya, but they're rich. They seek permission from you to stay behind with the women. Radu an yakunu ma'al khawalif, and they're happy to stay behind with the women or stay behind with those who stay behind. Wattabaallahu ala qulubihim, wahum la yalamun. Allah has put a seal over their hearts, but they, wahum la yalamun, but they don't understand this. The thing is, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he was a nice man. Anyone who came with an excuse, you know, the Prophet would just listen and kind of like give in or give, or the other person would have the impression the Prophet gave in. But over here, the Prophet was told, tell them straight, there's this time no excuses will, will, uh, will be accepted. You have to go into the battle, and if you don't go into the battle, there will be consequences. يَعْتَزِرُونَ إِلَيْكُمْ إِذَا رَجَعْتُمْ إِلَيْهِمْ The o Prophet ﷺ, they give excuses to you when you come back to them. Or they will give excuses to you when you come back to them. Either these ayat were revealed, you know, uh, when he was coming back from the book, or at the moment where he was in Medina and he was being told, they're now giving you excuses. يَعْتَزِرُونَ إِلَيْكُمْ إِذَا رَجَعْتُمْ قُلْ لَا تَعْتَزِرُوا لَنْ, لن يُؤْمِنَ لَكُمْ don't give us any excuses. We're not going to believe in you. As I mentioned before, those of you that were listening to the previous juz, that it was made mandatory every single Muslim, every single person of the state had to participate in the battle of Tabuk. This was the Prophet's first step in regards to um, outside Arabia. Okay, This was the Prophet's first step towards, um, um, you can say, uh, dealing with or coming to terms with the Roman Empire, which was the super, like almost like the supreme power of that time. So, قُلْ لَا تَعْزِرُوا لَنُؤْمِنَ لَكُمْ قَدْ بَيَّنَّ اللَّهُ مِنْ أَخْبَارِكُمْ Allah has already, you know, given us the, uh, Allah has already revealed these verses. He's shown us your attitude, that you're continuously lying. You don't really, you're not really serious. You don't really have sincerity towards Islam. You're not willing to struggle for Islam. And now, you know, سَيَّرَ اللَّهُ عَمَلَكُمْ وَرَسُولُهُ Then Allah and His Messenger are going to see what you do. Maybe there's a little bit of a chance for you left, or for some of you. ثُمَّ تُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ Then you will be returned to the person, to the one who is the all the knowledge of the unseen, وَالشَّحَادَ And everything that can be seen. And he will tell you all the things that you used to do. So, يَحْلِفُونَ بِاللَّهِ لَكُمْ إِذَا انْقَلَبُوا إِلَىٰ إِلَيْهِمْ لِتُعْرِضُوا عَنْهُمْ فَعْرِضُوا عَنْهُمْ So, يَحْلِفُونَ بِاللَّهِ They swear by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? لَكُمْ إِذَا انْقَلَبْتُمْ إِلَيْهِمْ When you, uh, when you return, okay, uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, and why do they swear upon Allah? Oh, you know, we could have, we were, wallahi, we were going to do this and we were going to do this. Right? So that you leave them alone. Say, أَحْلِفُونَ لَكُمْ إِذَا انْقَلَبْتُمْ إِلَيْهِمْ لِتُعْرِضُ عَنْهُمْ فَعْرِضُ عَنْهُمْ So they, this is what they want. They want you to leave them alone, so leave them alone. إِنَّهُمْ rich. These hypocrites, they are, uh, they are rich, they're evil. Or they're impure. Okay? Uh, جَهَنَّمْ Their place is the hellfire جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ Their reward is uh, going to be whatever they earn. So this is about, you know, Surah uh, Tawbah, as you know, is the surah that doesn't have Bismillah. So this is about the character, the two. Number one was the um, peop three things, actually. Number one, the people that were given the chance to believe, now they had no choice but to either believe or die. There was a third option that was unmentioned, in that, in that they can go down in exile. But they had to leave Arabia. Arabia had to become Muslim. Because of the Sunnah of Allah that I have mentioned over and over again. That if a Prophet comes and you reject his message, then it, the place that place has to be annihilated. 
So Makkah was given the same chance. Now, but because the Prophet was the last Prophet, then it had to be done by the hands of the believers, which is also mentioned in this surah earlier, in the 10th juz. So, um, فَعَرِضُوَنْهُمْ إِنَّهُمْ رِجْزْ مَأْوَاهُمْ جَهَنَّمْ جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ يَحْلِفُونَ لَكُمْ لِتَرْضَوْنَ عَنْهُمْ And they swear by Allah, you know, or they swear by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so you will be happy with them. You'll feel that, okay, maybe they are sincere. فَإِن تَرْضُوا عَنْهُمْ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَرْضَى عَنْ قَوْمِ الْفَاسِقِينَ Good people are always good, and good people always assume good things about other people. So in ta'riduanhum, if you think you're happy with them, or they satisfied you with their false swearing, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَرْضَى عَنْ قَوْمِ الْفَاسِقِينَ Allah is not happy with the wrongdoing people. Now, that was the hypocrites. Now the A'rab, the Bedouins, because they were new to Islam, they came with their own set of problems, even though they were not necessarily hypocrites. Their example is like the majority of the Muslims today that are not necessarily two-faced, but they're weak, and they haven't given as much attention to this new faith, and they haven't done, haven't kind of like made it part of their lifestyle yet. أَعْرَابُ أَشَدُّ كُفْرًا وَنِفَاقًا وَأَجِدُ أَلَّا يَعْلَمُ حَدُودًا مَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ عَلَى رَسُولِ وَاللَّهُ عَلِيمٌ حَكِيمٌ the Bedouins, they are more severe in their kufr, in their denial of the truth. But over here, you know, the Bedouins, these Bedouins have accepted Islam that are being mentioned here. So over here is their, their kufr, even though they've accepted Islam, they've said the shahada, but they're still doing things, saying things that are not in accordance with Islam. وَنِفَاقًا in hypocrisy. أَشَدُّ كُفْرًا وَنِفَاقًا وَأَجْدَرُوا أَلَّا وأج and this is because they don't know the limits set by Allah and His Messenger of what Allah has revealed and upon His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You'll find this uh, verse in Sutan Hujrat also. The Bedouins say, Amanna. They say, We believe. Say, You have not believed yet. But uh, aslamna. But say we've brought Islam. You've just brought Islam. You've you've accepted the external aspects, but it hasn't really internalized yet. So the, the similar thing is being mentioned here. They're even more uh, severe in their kufr and nifaq because what what yalamu, and this is because they don't know the limits that Allah sent on His uh, that Allah has sent down over his prophet ma anzal allah ala rusuli wallahu alimun hakim wa min al a'rabi man yajidu ma yunfiqu maghraman wa yatarabbasu bikum dawair and again here allah is exposing what's in the hearts of some of these because everyone was asked to spend and to give for the cause of the book so what happened is وَمِنَ الْأَعْرَابِ مَنْ يَتَّخِذُ مَا يُنْفِكُ مَغْرَمًا And among the Bedouins, there are some who consider, you know, whatever they spend as a loss. Now, because they had a loss, they feel like they had to give in this cause of this battle of Tabuk. So what else? So they are also waiting for something bad to happen to you as a result because they felt something bad was, was forced on them. So then now something bad should happen upon the believers. عَلَيْهِمْ دَائِرَةُ السَّوْءُ But they have an evil circle around them. وَاللَّهُ سَمْيُنْ عَلِيمٌ Allah has the ability to hear and know all things. And this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the, in, you know, in the Sutul um, Tawbah, this Tawbah, this Surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really, really exposes everyone out. Like, you know, this is what you were thinking and this is what you were thinking. And it's like, just like, it's like, where where can we hide? Like that ayah that we read yesterday. They want to hide in a carrier somewhere. They're so exposed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, you know, this was like one of the, uh, the the only time where it was like everything was just exposed. And among the Bedouins, there are those who that believe in Allah in the last day. 
And among the Bedouins, there are those people who believe in Allah and His Messenger, right? And uh, and they, they, uh, they, whatever they spend in the cause of Allah, they find it as a mere of having qurb, having nearness to in the Allah to Allah, and the du'as of the Prophet sallallahu Yes, Allah says yes. Know it well. This is a way for them to get close to Allah and His Messenger. So yudhiluhum Allah fi rahmati. Allah subhanahu wa taala will enter them into His rahma. In Allah ghafur rahim. Indeed, Allah is ghafur and rahim. Now, who are the people that are in this jama'ah of the Prophet ﷺ? Who are the people that are really, really committed, who committed themselves fully and completely and were willing to do anything and everything for the cause of Islam? Uh, also, one thing that Surah Tawbah did is it clarified who were the true Sahaba, who were the true companions of the Prophet ﷺ, and who were not. والسابقون أولون من المهاجرين والأنصار and those that were the foremost أولون من amongst the muhajirin and ansar والذين تبعهم بالإحسان and those that followed them in إحسان اللهم جعلنا منهم may Allah make us of the people that are like following the muhajirin and ansar in إحسان in the best way possible رضي الله عنهم ورضوا أن Allah is happy with them and they are happy with Allah عد لهم جنات تجري تحت الأنهار instead of the normal جنات تجري من تحت الأنهار for the companions of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم you find this من missing as a way of of exalting them and showing that where they are is not just a part of but they'll be where the source of the river would be so جنات تجري تحت الأنهار جنات under which there are the rivers underneath flowing Right, خالدين فيها إن it they will remain for ever ذلك الفوز العظيم this is the greatest success. ومن من حولكم من الأعراب منافقون and among and around you حولكم around you are the Bedouins a lot of them are منافقون they are hypocrites من أهل المدينة now you know in Islamic law there's a big debate about the Ahlul Medina because of the Prophet وسلم, saying uh, the many, many um, positive things about um, uh, many positive things about the people of Medina because the Prophet وسلم, had said so many, uh, b uh, you could say, blessings about Medina, which you can find many of them in, for example, in the book of Imam Malik's Mawatta. So, but here you find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying that Medina also has the munafiqeen in it. وَمِنْ أَهْلِ الْمَدِينَةِ Maradu uh, ala nifaq. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the people of Medina maradu ala nifaq. La ta'lamuhum, nahnu na'lamuhum. They persist, they insist on nifaq and having nifaq. La ta'lamuhum, you don't know them. Nahnu na'lamuhum, but Allah says we know them. So nu'adhibuhum maratayn, we will punish them twice. Thumma yurudduna ila a'adhabin azim. And then they will be. Uh, pushed into the punishment that is really great, a very severe punishment. وَآخِرُونَ اِعْتَرَفُوا بِذُنُوبِهِمْ So this now is a very important ayah. وَآخِرُونَ And then there are others who have acknowledged their sin. Right? And this is... Um, now over here, a few comments have to be made that are very, very important. Number one, you know, when there ever there is a movement... And in this case, the movement is the Prophet Sallallahu They're going to be those that are fully for it, fully committed to it, fully, you know, engaged in it in every way. And then there will be those people that are like uh, half-hearted. You know, they're not really like fully engaged to that to that movement. You know, they have reservations. And then there'll be like the munafiqeen. They're those that are with the movement, but lukewarm. So you find, for example, the munafiq. The munafiq are those people who accepted Islam, but they had no commitment towards Islam. Whatever, whenever they were asked two things in particular, to come out and uh, to do jihad in the cause of Allah, or number two, spend in the cause of Allah. This especially became very difficult for them. Okay, then 
uh, you have the people that are in the middle. They have good intentions, but sometimes they do good and sometimes they do bad. You can say they're weak. Okay? So, the munafiqeen, what happens with them now? Munafiqeen, what happens with them is that they begin to dislike those people that are committed to the cause. You know, because they have to commit more than they want to commit because of these people that are like Abu Bakr and Omar and giving half of their wealth, giving all of their wealth, giving everything. So on the one side it talks about the munafiqeen, on the one side it talks about the people that are weak that we're going to talk about here, and then on the other is as-sabiquna awwaluna min al-muhajirin wal-ansar, those people that fully and fully and fully committed themselves to the cause, right? And so the, always in an Islamic movement, if there's a jama'ah, if there's an amir, and you call out a movement and people are joining you, there will be people of different types. There will be that core group that is committed with the amir. Come what may, they're with the amir. Then there will be those people that are with you and not with you. They make they, but they don't uh, lie, okay? Like the munafiqin, they lie, and they're always saying to you, "If only we, you know, we are with you, we're with you, with with you, with you." But they're really never uh, here nor there. And then there are those people that are weak. They don't lie. They say, "Yeah, we, you know, we could do better. We wish we could do better." This kind of attitude, right? Now. In the time, in the Battle of Tabuk, when the Prophet ﷺ was coming back, there was all these different types of groups, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is exposing for the believers all these different types of groups. Okay, and so, uh, oh, one thing that I think I need to make clear in the ayah before, wa min al haulakum, O Prophet ﷺ, around you, min al arabi. Munafiqun. The some of the Arab they are also munafiq. Wa min ahlul Madina. Now ahlul Madina. Uh, they they obviously had a chance to benefit from the presence of the Prophet, the du'as of the Prophet, you know, praying with the Prophet. But the Arab, they didn't have that much chance. And sometimes nifaq is because you just don't know any better. You don't know what is necessarily expected from you, so then you're always, you know, uh, just uh, in the wrong side of things, right? But over here, maraddu ala nifaq. They have persisted, they're absolutely stubborn on the, their nifaq. And when they become stubborn on nifaq, then you begin to dislike the people that are fully committed to the cause. Because you have to commit to them. You have to commit like that. They, you're, you're going to be asked to commit like these people have been asked to commit. So, نَحْنُ نَعْلُمُهُمْ وَسَنُعَذِّبُهُمْ مَرَّتَيْنِ We will punish them twice or punish them over and over again. ثُمَّ يُرُدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَذَابٍ عَظِيمٍ And then they will be uh, return to the most grievous punishment. Now, these are the people that are weak. These people that are weak, they uh, <clears throat> they don't make excuses. They accept the truth. Yes, we have a problem. We have not been 100% there for the cause of Allah and His Messenger. And some of these people, when the Prophet ﷺ came back from Tabuk, they tied, them, they tied themselves to pillars and even gave sadaqah. Um, and so, وَآخَرُونَ اَعْتَرَفُوا بِذَنُوبِهِمْ خَلَطُوا عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَآخَرَ سَيِّئًا Then there are those people who made, uh, who, وَآخَرُونَ اَعْتَرَفُوا بِذَنُوبِهِمْ They have acknowledged their sin. فَاخْتَلَطُوا عَمَلًا صَالِحًا They have a mix of good deeds. وَآخَرُ سَيِّئًا And others that are not so good. أَسَاءَ اللَّهُ أَنْ يَتُوبُ عَلَيْهِمْ Perhaps Allah will forgive them. Because they've accepted their 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 um, guilt and their sin, so inshallah Allah will forgive them. In Allah ghafurun rahim. Allah is ghafur and rahim. Khudh min amwalihim sadaqat sadaqa. Take from their wealth as sadaqa. Yutahhirukum yutahhiruhum wa yudakihim biha. It will purify them and it will cre create internal cleaning for them. Okay. Wasil ilayhim, and it will connect them. Wasil, wasalli alayhim, and pray for them or bless them. Now, um, so Allah says for the munafiqin, Allah said, "Don't come with us. Don't go to war. Don't go to war with us anymore. Don't get. We don't need your sadaqa. We don't need anything from you." This is what was said to the munafiqin. Inna salatuka sakanan lahum. O Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, your, your prayer for them, your dua for them, is a tranquility for their heart. 
He hears and he knows all. Alam ya'lamu anna Allah huwa yaqbilu tawba an ibadati wa ya'khud sadaqat. Do you not know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who accepts the repentance from his servants? Wa ya'khudu sadaqat. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who takes the sadaqat. Sadaqat that you gave with good intention, it reaches Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa anna Allah huwa tawabu rahim. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving and merciful. Completely. So this is to encourage the weak, weak people. You do dua for them, take their sadaqat, and say to them, O Prophet وسلم, say to them, Soon Allah will see your deeds and the messenger wal mu'minun and the believers. And then of course you have to go back to the one who is all knowledgeable of the unseen was shahada and the seen any animal or any being any creature that whatever it sees and all of the things that are unseen by anyone any creature right all of that allah has knowledge of that then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will know you of the will let you know of the things that you were doing now in that weak category there was uh three of them Ka'ab bin Malik being the most foremost of them. You know, Ka'ab bin Malik came to the Prophet. Now, he had, everyone was told to go to Tabuk. He was getting ready to go to Tabuk. Or he was thinking he's getting ready to go to Tabuk. He said he had, he thought to himself, I have a fast horse. And when a group of 30,000 is going to a battlefield, and he alone is going to go alone. If he goes alone, he can catch up quickly because he'll be alone. You know, he has a fast horse and he's going to go and he's going to meet up with the Prophet, no problem. But he kept in his heart making excuses. I'll go tomorrow, I'll go tomorrow, tomorrow, until he realized <laughs> that the news came to He realized he couldn't catch up with the Prophet and soon after that he re reached the news that the Prophet's coming back. So this is why, now this is another thing very important. Whenever there's a jama'ah, whenever there's a movement, you'll have all sorts of people with you. You'll be having those people that are fully committed, people that are not they're they're gonna feel upset that they have to spend with you because their brother is also giving money you know all these different dynamics will be happening part of the part of this will be that so now when the prophet was coming back so just let's uh, look at this and then I'll, I'll get to that so there were three of them uh uh they uh they kind of like uh tied themselves up uh, you know, they uh, uh, bin Malik. Uh, there were three of them. They, they went to the Prophet and they said, "Look, we can also lie. You know, O Prophet of Allah, I have no excuses. I was never richer than I was now. I never had better, you know, a means to reach the battlefield than I had now." And they were put under social boycott. And so the Prophet وسلم, almost for fifty days, they they were no one was able to talk to them until Allah's commandment came down, which will be coming in the surah later on. But they were really sincere to the cause of Allah, right? And uh, this hadith is in Sahih Bukhari. It's in great detail. It tells you the type of discipline everyone had, right? In the time of the Prophet, the, that society in Medina, the type of discipline it had, right? That when the Prophet did so, uh, said, okay, let Allah decide what will happen with them, right? The whole society uh, did a social boycott. No one talked to him for like 50 days, until these verses came down that will be coming up uh, soon. Then there were those three of them that were seeking the commandment of Allah. Whether Allah will punish them or Allah will forgive them. Allah is knowing and wise completely. So this is about those people. Now every society, every movement, Islamic movement, will have the core that is committed. They, and then there will be those people that are inside the movement, but they're actually opposing the movement, okay? And then there will be those people that are lukewarm, but they don't lie. They admit, yeah, I need to do better, I need to do better. But one of the ways to make them do better and to make them more committed and to purify them is to take their wealth. And because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this in Sutul Munafiqun also, and the biggest problem of the people that... Uh, are, hypocrite, are hypocrites or leaning towards being hypocrites or weak is that, you know, the biggest problem is committing your resources, your time, your energy, your struggle, right? To believe is easy. And then to do even some of the basic rituals is not that difficult, 
But when you have to give your time for a cause, when you have to give yourself up for a cause, when you have to put yourself on the battlefield, when you have to put your life on the plate, then that's the difficult part. <laughs> now, as you know, Arabia now was uh, in the control of the Prophet So the Munafiqeen, they didn't have the same, um, you could say, resources to now to find a place where they can meet and talk and plan you know, whatever they were doing in Mecca, the Mecca had been now taken over. Whatever they were doing in Medina, most of Medina had been, uh, you know, now the, all their 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 secrets had been exposed in this surah, as you can see. So all this was happening. And so now they decided, this is a long discussion, but they decided that outside Medina, they're going to make a masjid. And as the Prophet is coming into Tabuk, right, they wanted that when the Prophet comes in, we'll also get, We'll also, you know, to make it look like to the people, we're going to get the, we'll ask the Prophet to come here and pray here. But this would actually be what would be called Masjid Dirar, the Masjid that was uh, Dirar, that was evil, okay, that was harmful. Because the Masjid was being built as a cover up for what? For working against Islam and Muslims. This was also exposed by the Prophet Sallallahu And this masjid, now they built this masjid and they were trying to invite the Prophet to pray. And Allah tells the Prophet, you can't go into that masjid at all. And in fact, you need to bring down that masjid to completely um, undo the planning of the people that were now really upset that Islam had, you know, these crazy people like Abu Bakr and Omar and Uthman and Ali and Talha and Zubair and they'd given everything and now they've won and you know all this time they were like uh, you know they were the ones like oh no we just want peace with the people and you know we just we just want uh, you know and they're the ones that were conspiring with the people of Mecca to entice them against the Prophet so now they're going to be they're they're being discovered here and so and those people who took Masjid al Dirar wa Kufran and what was their Kufr? Tafriq and Bain al Mu'minina. That they were causing a division between the believers, right? They were, that this, uh, pl this place would be built that would work against the Muslims, right? And then, uh, and a place uh, that would be used to go against, to fight against Allah and His Messenger. Even from before they were doing this, they will swear to you, O Prophet, they wanted nothing but good. Right? Oh no, you know, coming to your masjid, O Prophet, is so far away. You know, if we have our masjid near us, and all these different excuses that they would have. Allah bears witness that they are liars. Do not stand on that masjid or going to that masjid ever. Masjid al taqwa. Min awali yawmin ahakku an taquma fi that masjid that is built upon taqwa from the from the first day ahakku an taqumu fi you have more rights to stand in that and then fihi rijalun yuhibbun an yutahhira and there are men who love to be purified wallah yuhibbul mutahhirin Allah loves those people that love to be purified Allahumma ja'alna minhum may Allah make us amongst them faman asasa bunyanuhu ala taqwa min Allahi Whatever the taqwa, whatever foundation is built upon taqwa is from Allah. وَرِذْوَانًا خَيْرًا أَمْ مَنْ أَسَّسَ بُنْيَانُهُ عَلَى شِفَا خُفْرًا مِنْ حَارٍ فَالنَّارَ بِهِ فِي النَّارِ جَحَنُّمُ اللَّهُ لَا يَحْدِ الْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ أَفَمَنْ أَسَّسَ بُنْيَانُهُ عَلَى التَّقْوَى مِنْ اللَّهِ وَرِذْوَانًا خَيْرًا Is that building or that thing that is built upon the taqwa of Allah and His happiness, khayrun is better amman asasa bunyanu ala shafa khufrat min harim fannar so on the edge, khufra min har so he, like if you have a building that's just on the edge of let's say a mountain where everything can just fall down and collapse so this is the example that is being given shafa khufram harim fannar nara bihi finnari uh, sorry. So it would just fall down and collapse from there. And it would fall down into the hellfire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't uh, guide the people that are wrongdoing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now says, 
لا يزالون لا يزال بنيانهم الذي بنوا ريبة في قلوبهم and this now bringing down this foundation and they're being exposed Allah says this will always their building that they built that has now been put down right will be a source of ريب ريب will be a source of doubt for them meaning uh, that uh, doubt in the sense that oh if we had done this and if we had done this and and it, it, is this like they will be in this state right where their hearts are completely just you know um, except that if their hearts are shredded into pieces okay except if their hearts are shredded into pieces they're gonna be in this uh, state of confusion and skepticism and doubt right because of them being caught and because their heart will long for only if that had happened and only if that had happened and there are many other tafasir behind this wallahu alimun hakim allah is all knowing all wise in allah ashtara now again contrast then with the believers in allah ashtara min al mu'minina anfusahum wa amwalahum bi anna lahum al jannah indeed allah has purchased the lives of the believers anfusahum wa amwalahum their selves their entire selves and their wealth bi anna lahum al jannah here you give give yourself and give your wealth to Allah, and then you'll get Jannah. But you get Jannah there, you have to give the wealth and yourself here. يُقَاتِلُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ فَيَقْتُلُونَ وَيُقْتَلُونَ They fight in the path of Allah, they kill and are killed. وَعْدًا عَلَيْهِ حَقًّا فِي التَّوْرَاتِ وَالْإِنْجِيلِ وَالْقُرْآنِ This is the promise of Allah in Tawrat, this is the promise of Allah in Injil, this is the promise of Allah in Quran. وَمَنْ أَوْفَى بِأَحْدِهِ مِنَ اللَّهِ and who can be more true in completing the promise than Allah? فَاسْتَبْشِرُوا بِبَعْيَكُمُ الَّذِي بَعْيَاتٌ بِهِ So have good tidings over the bayah that you have given. You know, the bayah that they... Bayah means to sell yourself. But bayah as an action was to give your hand on the hand of the Prophet and to promise him we will listen and obey. This is the type of jama'ah that has to be created, a type of movement that has to be created, that people, a jama'ah of people that are fully and fully committed, they have an amir, they have bayah, right? وَمَنْ أَوْفَى بِهِ بِأَحْدِهِ مِنَ اللَّهِ Who can be more fulfilling of his promise than Allah? فَاسْتَبْشِرُوا بِبَعْيَكُمُ الَّذِي بَعْيَعْتُمْ بِهِ So have good tidings over the bayah you have given. ذَلِكَ الْفَوْضُ الْعَظِيمُ This is the greatest success. And what is the quality of these people? التَّائِبُونَ الْعَابِدُونَ الْحَامِدُونَ السَّائِهُونَ رَاكِعُونَ السَّاجِدُونَ آمِرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْحَوْنَ عَنَ الْمُنْكَرِ وَحَافِذُونَ لِحَدُودِ اللَّهِ وَبَشِّرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ التَّائِبُونَ They seek forgiveness from Allah. عَابِدُونَ they're always in service to Allah, in devotion to Allah. Hamidun, always praising Allah. Sa'ihun, those people that are fasting, you can or those people that come out in the cause of Allah, like jihad. Raki'un, sajidun, do ruku, do sujood. Amiruna bil ma'roof, they enjoy the good. Wayanhawna anil munkar, they forbid the evil. Mulhafizuna li hadudillah. And they protect the limits of Allah. The laws of Allah, they protect it. وَبَشِّرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And give good tidings to the believers. You know, it doesn't say التَّائِبُونَ وَالْعَابِدُونَ وَالْحَامِدُونَ وَالسَّائِهُونَ Why? Because all these attributes are like one, one organic whole. Until, just to uh, summarize all of this, وَالْحَافِذُونَ لِحَدُودِ اللَّهِ And they protect the limits by Allah, uh, set by Allah. Individual, the first group, the first group, التائبون العابدون الحامدون الساعيون الراكيون الساجدون آمنون بالمعروف وينهون عن المنكر. This is individual, and then collectively, have collectively they make sure the limits of Allah are imposed upon themselves and the society that they live in. وبشر المؤمنين and give good tidings to the people who are believers. Now, what will happen even in the future when the Mahdi comes? He's going to take bayah. Why? Because this is the process of organizing the people given to us by the Prophet It is not for the uh, those. It is not for the Prophet or the believers to seek forgiveness to, for the pagans. Even if they're they're near relatives, after the matter has been made completely clear for them, they're the people of the hellfire. This is how Allah has destined it to be. 
وما كان استغفار إبراهيم لأبيه إلا أن موعدة ووعدها إياه فلما تبين له أنه عدو لله تبرع منه إن إبراهيم أواه حليم Over here Allah as an exception mentions Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam ma kana istighfar Ibrahim li abihi the istighfar that Ibrahim did for his father who was a mushrik who was a pagan okay was not illa an mu'adatan wa'adaha because he said to his father dad I'll seek forgiveness for you he, he is, his istighfar was for no other reason except that he had made a promise to uh, to his uh he wa iyahu falamma tabayyana lahu after it was made clear to him right uh Aduwa lillah, he is an enemy of Allah. Tabarra minhu, even Ibrahim seeked uh, independence and, you know, I have nothing to do with you. Inna Ibrahima la'awahun halim. Indeed, Allah, uh, indeed, Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, he is, he is compassionate and most forbearing. وَمَا كَانَ لِلَّهِ أَنْ يُضِلْ قَوْمَ بَعْدَ إِذْ هَدَاهُمْ حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَهُمْ مَا يَتَّقُونَ حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَهُمْ مَا يَتَّقُونَ And Allah will not lead astray people إِذْ هَدَاهُمْ After Allah has guided them حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَهُمْ مَا يَتَّقُونَ Until it is made clear to them what they should avoid. What are the haram things they should avoid? If they then in after guidance indulge in those things then Allah could lead them astray. In Allah bi kulli shayin alim. Allah has the knowledge of all things. In Allah lahu mulku samawati wal ard yuhi wa yumit wa ma lakum min dun Allahi min waliyyin wa la nasir. Indeed, for Allah is the kingdom kingdom of the heavens and the earth. He gives life. He gives death. Wa ma lakum min dun Allahi min waliyyin wa la nasir. And there is not for you any wali or any helper other than Allah subhanahu wa taala. لقد تاب الله على النبي والمهاجرين والأنصار الذين اتبعوه في الساعات أسرى من بعد ما كاد يزيغ القلوب فريقا من منهم ثم تاب إليهم إنه هو الرؤوف الرحيم. Going to the battle of Tabuk was a difficult thing. It wasn't easy. So Allah says, لقد تاب الله على النبي. Allah has for لقد تاب الله على النبي. Allah سبحانه وتعالى has forgiven the prophet. And it doesn't mean that the Prophet needed forgiveness. But that Taba he means to turn. So Allah has turned to his Prophet. Wal Muhajirin and the Muhajirin and an Ansar. Alladhi Tabauhu, those that followed him, meaning the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi sa fi sa'ati usra in a very difficult time. Because the harvest was ready to go. They had to forsake all their harvest. Then the journey was long and it was against a superpower. So every reason uh, uh, so many excuses would come to anyone. After a portion of the people, right, their hearts, they inclined towards uh, the wrong path. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also forgave them. Indeed, He is Ra'uf and Rahim. This way you now know those of you that are weak, that need to get stronger, and also a good tiding for the people that were strong, that stayed strong, and those people that need to, that n now know what their situation is when uh, push comes to shove, so to say, when, 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 when the difficult time comes, how you will react. So, <coughs> so now that has been made clear. This is this is about the three that I mentioned earlier. They went to the Prophet and said, "Look, we can make excuses, but we're not. We 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 just uh, you know we, we're not. We have no excuse that we didn't come to you." So also the three, "Alladhi khulifu hatta idha taqat alayhim al-ard," until the earth became narrow for them because they didn't know what to do. Bima rahubat because of what? Taqat alayhim al-ard bima rahubat. The earth became constricted to them despite its vastness. And then Allah says, وَضَاقَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ أَنفُسَهُمْ وَذَنُّوا and, and their own selves became constricted to them. They just didn't know what to do. You know, is Allah going to forgive us or not forgive us? And this this whole event, there's a long hadith about this. That about the three people that I mentioned, about Ka'b bin Malik, you'd find it in Sahih Bukhari. But because for, for the sake of the time, I'm just pointing to that and not going into the details of it. But uh, there was a social boycott on them. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, okay, now I have, this is the ayah where Allah says, I forgave them. وَضَاقَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ أَنفُسَهُمْ وَذَنُّوا أَنْ لَا مَلْجَا مِنَ اللَّهِ 
illa ilay and they thought and rightly so they thought that there's no there's no escape except to allah there's nowhere to go i mean what are we going to do try to fight allah and his messenger like the munafiqeen were thinking no they didn't think that but it comes with a lot of emotional distress a lot of stress because you know you're in this state you want to be forgiven so thumma taba alayhim liyatubu so thumma taba alayhim so then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turned to them in there and accepted their tawbah in allah huwa tawwab rahim indeed allah is tawwab rahim okay ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu taqullaha wa kunu ma'as sadiqin this is a general rule that should always be applied to people who believe ittaqullaha fear allah and kunu ma'as sadiqin be with the righteous people be the people that are truthful okay you are going to be like your friends are so if you are with the what saved the people is that they were truthful they didn't make excuses if they made excuses they became munafiq so you know like for example let me give you a simple example of this is uh, somebody tells you to pray you say okay i didn't pray i didn't pray i didn't pray but the minute you start lying then you start disliking the people that are telling you to pray so this is exactly what happens with the munafiq ما كان لأهل المدينة من حولهم من الأعراض أن يتخف أن يتخلف عن رسول الله. And now over here a general, uh, you could say a remark is being made about the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and about the struggle. Now of course when they were struggling. They were going to the battle of Tabuk. They had to suffer fatigue. They had to suffer so many things. So, ma kana li ahlul Madina. It is was not proper for ahlul Madina, and it would not be proper for ahlul Madina. Wa man hawlahu min al a'rab and those of the Bedouins that are around the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, an yatakhlafu that they would stay behind an Rasulullah. They would stay behind the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and uh, meaning stay behind. Uh, and and the prophet is left an rasulullah wa la yarghab la yarghabu bi anfusihim an nafsi and that they prefer they have raghba to their own selves over the raghba of the prophet over the 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 prophet they prefer themselves and their their wishes and desires over the wish of the prophet it was not proper that such a thing would happen ذلك بانهم لا يصيبهم ذماء this is because they would not have the infliction or difficulty of being uh, thirsty or uh, or nasabun or fatigue that would come upon them. Or mahmasatun uh, or you know they would feel hunger. Fi sabilillah wa la yatta'una mawti'a. Nor would they step in any place. Yaghidu bihi bihi yaghidu yaghidu al-kuffar that would anger the, the those people who have rejected the truth wala yanaluna min aduwin nayla nor anything that would inflict upon the uh, enemies of allah and his messenger any affliction illa katab lahum bihi amalun salih except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would write for them a good deed for them so everything that you went through every fatigue every hardship this whole journey that allah himself is saying was difficult for you everything that you did will be written as a good deed for you and it was not proper that people should stay behind if the prophet is moving forward and it is not proper that people choose themselves over the self of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you know <clears throat> it's easy to read uh songs in the, in the name of the prophet or do this in the name of the prophet or that in the name of the prophet but walking with the prophet when he's do he's on his job so to say when he's doing what he's doing it's a very very difficult it's very difficult to be in the shoes of Abu Bakr and Umar and to do all these things without with full compassion and motivation and and all of this right you would have to have a very high level of iman right because you're going to have to hear from the people oh why are you doing why are you doing this you do everything muhammad you know you can imagine all the types of things people would have to hear but the, despite that they didn't stop they kept going and not just one or two companions that we know more popular but a whole group a you could say a whole group of companions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam la yanfuquna nafaqatan saghiratan wala kabiratan wala yaq yaqta'una wadiyan إلا كتب لهم ليجزيهم الله أحسن ما كانوا يعملون. They would spend nothing 
of anything that they spend, small or big. Nor would they cross any uh, valley. Except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would make it written that to to give them the reward of the good deeds that they had done. When people will frame the example with the army of the Mahdi, I give as an example because it's something we can relate to. But you think it'll be easy to go and walk these long, long distances to go into battle? Every type of excuse from shaitan will be coming to the hearts. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, it's not just that you always are going and fighting, you need to keep a balance between that and studying. Study the deen and fight for the deen. Okay. It is not for the believers that they go forth all at once in a battle. No. So a group of them should be focusing on study of the deen. Now this has many applications within the army. There should be a group or in the society as a whole, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, also, you know, in, it previously was mentioned that uh, this state of nifaq was also taking place because what? They didn't have the opportunity to learn. So instead of, it's, and first of all, uh, one of the uh, more popular translations, that this ayah is not translated as that you shouldn't, but rather that it is not possible. It is not possible for all the believers to leave in one group into a battlefield, meaning there will always be people left behind. But, uh, but uh, what Islam, uh, what the ayah is saying here is that instead of everyone going to Medina, and learning in Medina because they can benefit by that they can benefit from the people of Medina as well as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but rather why not from every location let there a group of people be going to Medina to learn the deen so that when they come back they warn them number one number two this will be better for when there's a time of difficulty then they, they because of their warning and because of their learning they'll be more capable of moving uh, in like a larger force would move forward with less excuses, less issues, less problems. So this ayah in that sense is very important. In the Azhar certificate, this is one of the ayat that's written uh, there. It is not for the believers to go out altogether. So why would it not be that نَفَرٌ مِنْ كُلِّ فِرْقَةٍ مِنْهُمْ طَائِفَةٌ لِيَتَفَقَّهُ فِي الدِّينَ Let them go to Medina and learn the deen over there. Let them think about it, right? لِيُنْذِرَ قَوْمَهُمْ So that they will go back to their tribes, to their people. إِذَا رَجَعُوا When they go back. إِلَيْهِمْ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَحْذَرُونَ So that they will be then warned. Okay? And a lot of the problems that occurred this time will still occur because every group will have its hardcore and those people that are lukewarm and those people that claim to be with you but in fact are just making excuses and in fact oppose you. يَا أَيُّهُ الَّذِينَ أَمَنُوا قَاتِلُوا الَّذِينَ يُوَلَّوْنَكُمْ مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ وَلْيَلِجُوا فِيهِمْ غِلْضَ so, yeah, you ladina amanu, you people believe qatilu ladina yalunakum. Those people that are close to you, minan kuffar, of the people who, who are kuffar, yaliju fi kum ghilda. Let them find in you in sternness and harshness. Especially after, you could say, the ambassador that was sent by the Prophet to the one of the um, uh, members of the Roman Empire. And after he was killed, so now this is being said, Know well that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with the people who have taqwa. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Now because a surah comes down and tells them, Now go out and fight. So now the munafiqeen, those people that are hypocrites, they say, What? وَإِذَا وَإِذَا مَا أُنزِلَتْ سُورَةٌ فَمِنْهُمْ يَقُولُ now, now the surah has come down and saying, now go and leave everything and fight in the cause of Allah. So now the munafiqah say, okay, does this increase your faith? Does this really increase your faith? Like, what's wrong with you? So فَمِنْهُمْ يَقُولُ أَيُّكُمْ أَذَادَتْ هَذِهِ إِيمَانًا 
So Allah responds on behalf of the believers. As for the people who believe, their iman does increase. وَهُمْ مُسْتَبْشِرُونَ وَهُمْ يَسْتَبْشِرُونَ And they give, and, and for them is the glad tidings. Now, uh, over here, this ayah before, يَا أَيُّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا قَاتُوا الَّذِينَ يَلُونَكُمْ مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ Oh, you people believe, fight the, the disbelievers that are close to you and let them find a new sternness. So this is also about how to deal with your borders. To let them fight, find sternness in you. You know, because borders always have some sort of conflicts. So you have to be very clear on how you treat the people that you have borders with many times, okay? And uh, if they do injustice, or, or the people uh, are in, in their countries are being taxed too much, or some other, because the laws of Allah are not there, so there will definitely be injustice. So you should also look at that. Then Allah says, وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ فَزَادَتْهُمْ رِجْسًا إِلَىٰ رِجْسِهِمْ And as for the people in whose hearts is a disease, Allah increases their evil over evil. وَهُمْ مَاتُوا وَهُمْ كُفَّارُ And if they die, they died as kuffar, as the disbelievers. أَوَلَا يَرَوْنَ أَنَّهُمْ يُفْتُونُونَ فِي كُلِّ عَامٍ مَرَّ أَوْ مَرَّتَيْنِ Do they not see that they are they're put in fitna every year uh, uh, once a year or every, every twice a year. ثُمَّ لَا يَتُوبُونَ وَلَا هُمْ يَذَّكَّرُونَ And they do not repent to Allah and they don't remember Allah. Because, you know, every year there's one major event, one major battle or another major battle, two major battles. So this becomes a fitna for them. Now what can we do to get out of this battle? This becomes their issue, right? So, وَإِذَا مَا أُنزِلَتْ سُورَةٌ نَزَرَ بَعْضُهُمْ إِلَىٰ بَعْضٍ هَلْ يَرَاكُمْ مِنْ أَحَدٍ ثُمَّ انْصَرَفُوا Now you know the surah is coming down and exposing these people. So they look at each other like, did anyone see you? Did anyone witness? Like, like how did they know? How does how does the Prophet know, right? وَإِذَا مَا أُنزِلَتْ سُورَةٌ فَنَزِرَ بَعْضُهُمْ إِلَىٰ بَعْضٍ هَلْ يَرَاكُمْ مِنْ أَحَدٍ ثُمَّنْ صَرَفُوا Okay, صَرَفَ اللَّهُ قُلُوبَهُمْ And because they don't find an answer to that question. هَلْ يَرَاكُمْ مِنْ أَحَدٍ Did anyone see you? ثُمَّنْ uh, sarafu, in sarafu. Then they just turn away from it. They they just ignore it. They don't look into it. They don't think about it. They don't get a lesson from it. The Allah is exposing them, and this is the only way that they would be exposed. Is is if, if Allah had given revelation to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. bi annahum qawmun la yafqahun. Allah has turned their hearts, and because they are people that don't think and don't ponder, they can't even get this, right? لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ A messenger has already come to you from your own selves. عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْكُمْ He is so near to you. إِلَيْهِ مَعَنِدْتُمْ And he is عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَعَنِدْتُمْ It hurts him what you go through. Going through these battles, this also hurts him. But this has to be done. This is part of the mission of the Prophet. He has to establish the deen of Allah. He has to bring Islam to the world. He is the last Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Harisuna alaykum. He's haris. He's greedy for you in, in the positive sense. Bil mu'minina ra'uf rahim And with the mu'mineen, he's ra'uf and he's rahim. He's kind and he's merciful. فَإِن تَوَلَّوْ If you turn your backs from the messenger, from the cause, from Islam, if you show... Uh, that you're not fully committed, فَإِن تَوَلَّهُ فَقُلْ O Prophet, just tell them, حَسْبِ Allah, Allah is enough for me, لا إله إلا هو. I was there when I was all alone in Mecca, no one was with me, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and I started my da'wah there, Allah is the one who helped me in every every step of the way, حَسْبِ Allah, لا إله إلا هو. there's no divine or authority other than Him, وَعَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلْتُ and on Him I trust fully, وَهُوَ رَبُّ الْعَرْشِ الْعَظِيمِ and He is the Rabb of Arsh al -Azim. The Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whoever reads these, this part of the verse, Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illahu alayhi tawakkaltu wa huwa rabbul arsh al -azim. seven times at Maghrib time, seven times at Fajr time, all his worries of dunya and akhirah would be taken care of for him. Qul hasbi Allah. Do you not see that Allah has taken care of the Prophet every step of the way? Right? La ilaha illahu, there's no divine other than him. Wa alayhi tawakkaltu and Prophet say to uh, say to them, I trust in him. That's it. Wa huwa rabbul arsh al -azim. and he's the rabb of arsh al -azim. He's the rabb of the great, great, great throne. 
Okay. And over here, Alhamdulillah, bi'izzati jalali tatimu salihat. We have come to the end of this surah. Now, most of this uh, 11th juz will be the next surah, Surah Yunus, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So before moving forward with Surah Yunus, uh, just a small review that's important. Number one, we saw from Fatiha to Surah Al-Ma'idah, this is the first group. This basically is the blueprint of the Sharia and a discussion with the people of the book. Then two surahs, Surah Al-An'am, Surah Al-A'raf, in which they're saying the main theme is give us, an, give us a sign, give us a sign. And the, it is told that there will be no sign for you, but if you don't accept the truth, then the punishment of Allah will come. The answer to that, then the punishment will come, is, is manifested in Surah Al-Anfal and Surah Al-Tawbah. The first set of the uh, first installment of the punishment came in the form of the Battle of Badr, and the last installment of the punishment came in the form of the Prophet taking over Mecca, and uh, Hazrat Ali radiAllahu an Ali radiAllahu an declaring that you have four months to accept Islam or else. Okay. And then from there, the Battle of Tabuk. Now, because Islam has now over has been brought into Arabia. The Prophet is the crownless king of Arabia, and now the internal, in, internal nationalization of Islam, the da'wah of Islam to the leaders of the other countries started. In that, the one of the uh, one of the uh, uh, you could say um, cities under the uh, under under the Roman Empire killed one of the companions of the Prophet. From there, it started the Battle of uh, Tabuk. Okay, this battle of Tabuk exposed many of the Munafiqeen and their plotting and their planning as in Surah Tawbah. So you get Surah Al-Anfal and Surah Al-An'am, uh, sorry, Surah Al-An'am and Surah Al-A'raf, then Surah Al-An'am and Surah Al-Tawbah. Okay, now we are coming to a series of Makki Surahs. And just like from Surah Al-Baqarah to Surah Al-Ma'idah was almost six juz worth of uh, of uh, of Madani surahs. Now you're going to find from Surah Yunus to Mu'minun a long series of almost seven juz of Makki surahs. And <clears throat> now Surah Yunus and Surah Hud is also in the form of a pair, the surah that we're about to do. Over there, now over one thing that I want to mention is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses a method uh, called Tazkir bi Ayyamillah and Tazkir bi Ala'illah. Reminding people with the bounties of Allah. I gave you this and I gave you this and look at my creation. Look at how I created everything. Don't you see my creation? And then Amba'ur Rasul is the, the events of the prophets. The events of the prophets. So these are the two methods Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses. You'll see the same thing in Surah Al-Hud and Surah Al-Yunus. The same example. So to, uh, and then you also find a converse example. There's a long discussion about Prophet Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam in Surah Al-Hud. And a small discussion of Prophet Nuh in Surah Yunus. And, and you'll find a discussion of Prophet Musa wasalam, in both the surahs. But only one ayah basically, or very little, about Musa wasalam, in Surah Hud and also in Surah Yunus. Okay? With this, you, everything will become clear as we go through it, inshallah ta'ala. Also, over here would be a good time to show you the overview that as it has happened in Surah Tawbah. So Surah Tawbah to, is basically... The hypocrites versus the true believers and then the true guidance, right? We went through this. Now we're going to study Sutulunus. The signs in the Quran, the ingratitude of man, divine gifts, the prophets and divine mercy, the friends of Allah, Nuh, Musa, and Yunus, and you know the story of Yunus and guidance of Allah. And Sutul Hud, we just do only five ayat in, on basically the theme is repenting to Allah, returning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So without any further delay, inshallah ta'ala, let's get to it. بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام را تلك آيات الكتاب الحكيم ألف را لام را These are the ayat of Allah of a book that has great wisdom. أكانوا الناس أجبا أن يوحى أن أن أوحينا إلى رجل منهم Is it, do people find it strange that we have revealed it to a man amongst them? أن أنزل 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 أنزل, أنزل الناس وبشر الذين آمنوا. Go ahead and warn the people and give the good tidings to the believers. 
أن لهم قدم صدق عند ربهم that they have an honorable standing before Allah subhanahu wa taala. وقال الكافرون إن إن هذا إلا سحر مبين. And the people who reject the truth, they say this is just plain magic. إن ربكم الله الذي خلق السماوات والأرض في ستة أيام ثم استوى على العرش. Indeed, your Rabb is the is Allah who created the heavens and the earth in six days, right? And then He took control of His throne. يدبر الأمر. And Allah subhanahu wa taala makes tadbir. He makes a plan. Okay. He uh he sees the things as they will happen. ما من شفين إلا إلا من بعد إذني. There's no one to intercede on his behalf except after his permission. ذلكم الله ربكم فعبدوه. This is your Allah, your Rabb. فعبدوه. So become his servant. أفلا تذكرون. Do you not ponder? Do you not think? إليه مرجئكم جميعا. Look, you're all going to go back to Allah. And again, Makki Surahs talk about the basics. Imaniyat, what is your Iman? Especially, especially focusing on Tawheed, Risala, Messengerhood, and the hereafter. And and then while this is the main theme, under that there are other themes that are running. Ilayhi Marr, and, and this is being explained to you sometimes from this angle, sometimes with these words, sometimes with another group of words, sometimes repeating the same thing that seems like repeating, you can say. And so that it will... Somehow uh, infiltrate your inner, the, the the inner recesses of your being. Wa ilahi marajiukum, and to Allah you will return. Wa adallahi haqqa, the promise of Allah is true. In inna hu inna hu hu yubdi al khalq thumma yuriduhu. He is the one who starts the creation and then ret- repeats it. Li yajzi al ladina amanu wa amilu salihati bil qist. So he will reward. He he re- starts the creation and repeats it. And in this case, he starts the this creation that we have here, and then he'll repeat it for in the hereafter. He'll start a new creation. Why? So that he will reward those people who believe and do good deeds with justice. And for those people who rejected the truth, لهم شراب for them is a drink من حميم that is going to be burning them. ولهم عذاب أليم بما كانوا يكفرون and for them is a painful punishment because of the. Of their rejecting the truth. Who is the one who the sun a light? He is the one who has made the sun a light. Well, the sun is a light, and the sun is also a light. But the sun is self-combustion, a light that from which light comes out. Nur is like a reflection of light. Well, the sun is a light, and the sun is also a light. But the sun is a reflection of light. Well, the sun is a light, and the sun is also a light. But the sun is a reflection of light. Well, the sun is a light, and the sun is also a light. But the sun is a reflection of light. Well, the sun is a light, and the sun is also a light. But the sun is a reflection of light. Well, the sun is a light, yeah, given the destiny, or you could say the nature, manazila uh, into different manazil uh, into different you can say stages. Litaalamu so that you would know. Litaalamu ada the sinin awal hisab. So the moon uh, has been made so you will know the ada the sinin the years right, and you will know hisab right, and you know the issue of moon sighting and over here oh, you can say is one ayah that allows the uh, uh, the uh, to to use hisab for what? لتعلموا أذا السنين using the hisab calculation for knowing the phases of the moon or the stages of the moon. You can use that for that. It's okay. ما خلق الله ذلك إلا بالحق. Allah didn't create that except in truth. يفصل الآيات لقوم يعلمون. Allah سبحانه وتعالى clarifies his ayat for people that would know or for people that would like to know. إن إن في اختلاف الليل والنهار indeed in the alteration or in the movement of the day and the night ما خلق الله في السماوات ولا الآيات لقوم يتقون indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth and whatever Allah has created in the heavens and the earth there are definitely signs for people that have taqwa okay لقوم يتقون for people that want to have taqwa of Allah or understanding of Allah or cognition of Allah or or mindfulness of Allah إن الذين لا يرجون لقاءنا وروض رضوا بالحياة الدنيا. Those people who don't want to meet Allah, okay? You don't want to meet your Creator, like that's such a strange thing. إن الذين لا يرجون لقاءنا. Those people who don't want to meet us وروضوا بالحياة الدنيا. And they are so happy with the life of this world, of the here and the now. وَتَمَعَنُ بِهَا. And they have اتمنان. They have they have complete. You know, uh, they feel. Uh, secure about it. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ أَنْ آيَاتِنَا غَافِلُونَ These are the people that are heedless regarding our signs. 
For them, their health, their their destination is the hellfire because of what they earn. In the ladina amanu wa minu salihati yahdihim rabbuhum bi imanihim. In in the ladina amanu wa minu salih. Indeed, those people who believe and do good deeds, yahdihim rabbuhum. Indeed, Allah will guide. Rab, the Rabb will guide them bi imanihim because of their iman. Tajri min tahti al anhar fi jannat al naim. In it will be. Jannat and Tajrim and it will be the rivers that flow fi Jannat and Naim in the blessed gardens. Da'wahum fiha subhanak Allahumma tahiyyatuhum fiha salam. And in the Jannah, their call will be what? Subhanak Allahumma. They will say, Subhanak Allahumma. Allah, you are perfect with all your beautiful names. Allahumma means, oh Allah, with all your beautiful names. Subhanak Allah, you, Subhan means you're perfect, basically. Subhanak Allahumma, oh Allah, you're perfect with all your beautiful names. Meaning, in this place in Jannah, where we can see the manifestation of all your full, all of your names in such a great level of manifestation. In in this world, Allah is Ar-Razzaq. But over there, Allah is also Ar-Razzaq. But Allah being Ar-Razzaq there is very different from being Ar-Razzaq here. Tahiyyatuhum fiha salam. And their greetings there will be salam. Wa akhiru da'wahum. And their last... You know, and, and their last of, of their, like you could say, statements, when all the affairs are being uh, 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 done, meaning when all the people have entered Jannah and all the people have entered the hellfire, when all things are settled, you can say. And their last call will be, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. وَلَوْ يُعَجِّلَ اللَّهُ لِلنَّاسَ شَرَّ اسْتَجَعْ لَهُمْ بِالْخَيْرِ if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was to hurry for mankind evil things the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes good things happen for them, right? لَقُدِيَ إِلَيْهِمْ أَجَلَهُمْ Then all the, uh, then their appointed time would have also come. Because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was to give you, a, uh, if Allah was to respond evil for your evil, and if Allah was to, uh, to respond for your evil to evil, then you would have been done for. Right, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful. He gives you more good than He gives you evil, even when you're doing wrong. So leave the people who don't want to meet us. Let them go on blindly. Okay. So then, the other meaning of this ayah is: لو يعجل الله للناس الشر استجع استعجا لهم بالخير. Allah wants khair for you. Muhammad is there. He's giving you the da'wah. You have to. You have a chance to accept his da'wah. Not the shar, not the evil that you're calling for. Okay, bring the punishment, bring the punishment. Not that. Allah wants to give you khair, right? If Allah wanted to give you what you wanted, لَقُدِيَ إِلَيْهِمْ أَجَلَهُمْ then, then it would have been all settled. And everything would have been settled and you would have been done for. So leave, O Prophet وسلم, the people that don't want to meet us, they will go in their their way blindly. Uh, okay? Okay? وَإِذَا مَصَّ الْإِنسَانُ ضُرُّ When some evil touches man, دعانا, he calls us, لِجَنْبِهِ When he's laying on his side, أو قائلاً, or he's sitting, أو قائماً, or even he may be standing when he's going through these difficulties, right? Or he's going through difficulty and he can't, you know, he's, he's, he's in stress, so sometimes he's laying down, sometimes he's on his side, sometimes he's sitting, he's thinking, he's standing, he's walking. كَشَفْنَا عَنْهُ ضُرُّهُ And then we re uh, remove from his, his difficulty, and then مَرَّاكَ أَنْ لَمْ يَدَعْنَا إِلَىٰ ضُرِّي And he walks as if he had never had any, uh, no ضُرْ ضُرِّي مَصَّة No ضُرْ, no evil had touched him. كَذَلِكَ زُيِّنَا لِلْمُصْرِفِينَ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ This is how the people who go beyond bounds. These, this is how people who go beyond bounds, كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ This is how they do things. This is how they are. وَلَكَدْ أَحْلَكْنَا قُرُونَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَمَّا ظَلَمُونَ Look, we destroyed people before you when they did wrong. وَجَاءَتْهُمْ رُسُلُهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ Messengers came to them with clear signs. وَمَا كَانُوا, بي... وما كانوا لي... لِيُؤْمِنُوا And they didn't believe. كَذَلِكَ نَجَزِي الْقَوْمَ الْمُجْرِمِينَ This is how we give the reward to the people that are criminals. They didn't even say okay to the Prophet. Because it doesn't say, وَمَا كَانُوا بِ... Uh, بمؤمنو, it says لِيُؤْمِنُوا 
They were not to believe. This is how we give the reward for the people that are criminals. Then after them, there are others that came, right? After them. So Allah will see how they do things now. So this has been the sunnah of Allah, that one nation comes and Allah sees if they are going to accept the messenger or not. If they don't accept the messenger, they're wiped out. Then another group comes after that. When our signs are recited to them that are clear. Those people who don't want to meet us on the Day of Judgment, right? They don't like this idea of the Day of Judgment and that we have to do all these things and we have to be morally responsible on the Day of Judgment. They don't want any of this. Come with a Qur'an other than this or change it. But we don't want this Qur'an. قُلْ مَا يَكُنُ لِي أَنْ أُبَدِّلْهُ مِنْ تِلْقَاءِ نَفْسِي O Prophet Wasallam, say to them, it's not for me to change it for my own self. Or تِلْقَاءِ نَفْسِي for myself. In أَتَّبِيُوا إِلَّا مَا يُوحَى إِلَيَّ I only follow that whatever has been revealed to me. إِنِّي أَخَافُ إِنْ أَسَيْتُ رَبِّ عَذَابَ يَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ I fear that the punishment of disobedience to Allah on that great day, meaning the Day of Judgment Okay. If Allah wanted, I wouldn't have recited this unto you. But Allah wanted it to reach your ears, the message, so that you will have no excuse on the Day of Judgment. Nor would you have understood it. Do you not know I have lived with you for so much long time? You don't know me? That I'm what type of personality I am. I'm the last person to come out with something that is, you know, just for play and just and just for power and all these things. That you know me from before. Do you not think? Do you not ponder? Who can be more wrong than the one who invents a lie on Allah? Or makes a lie or belittles the signs of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not give success for the criminals. وَيَعْبُدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ مَا لَا يَضُرُّهُمْ وَلَا يَنْفَعُهُمْ وَيَكُونُنَ هَأُولَاءِ شُفَعَاؤُنَا إِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَيَعْبُدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ لَا مَا لَا يَضُرُّهُمْ And they worship that which will not, will not hurt them. وَلَا يَنْفَعُهُمْ Nor benefit them. وَيَقُولُنَ هَأُولَاءِ شُفَعَاؤُنَا إِنْدَ اللَّهِ And they say, oh, these idols, they're just our shufa'a. They intercede on our behalf to Allah. قُلْ أَتُنَبِّئُونَ اللَّهَ بِمَا لَا يَعْلَمُ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَلَا فِي الْأَرْضِ Do you want to tell Allah about something that He doesn't know in the heavens or the earth? قُلْ أَتُنَبِّئُونَ اللَّهِ Do you want to tell Allah بِمَا لَا يَعْلَمُ That He doesn't know, meaning Allah doesn't know فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَلَا فِي الْأَرْضِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى أَمَّا يُشْرِكُونَ Allah is pure and perfect and so exalted from the partners that they make for Him. Meaning Allah says saying that in a rhetorical way. That, do you, oh, so you know something I don't know? That these are shufa'a, these are intercessors on, on your behalf to me? I, I don't know them. I never assigned them. I never gave such authority. The whole mankind was one ummah, wahida, fakhtalifu, but they had differences. And it had it not been for a word of Allah. Okay. Kalimatun so, sabaqat, uh, that would have passed them. From their Rabb, laqudiya baynahum, it would have been decided between them. But Allah doesn't, Allah gives a certain time, and then the word of Allah comes, either they believe or they don't believe, they reject the truth or accept the truth. If they reject the truth, the word of Allah comes and they're done away with. It would have been done away with about the issues in which they disagree. Okay? If Allah wanted, He could have judged them immediately after, after they disagreed, and the whole matter would have been over. But this is not the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is now how Allah does it. And they say, why is not some sign? We were looking, you know, why doesn't he? Why is he not given a sign from his Rabb? قُلْ إِنَّمَا الْغَيْبُ لِلَّهِ فَانْزُرُوا The ghayb is from Allah. The unseen things are from Allah. Those things that you're looking for, they're with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not with me. فَانْزُرُوا إِنِّي مَعَكُمْ مِنَ الْمُنْتَزِرِينَ 
فَانْتَظِرُوا إِنِّي مَعَكُمْ مِنَ الْمُنْتَظِرِينَ So you wait, and I'm also waiting with you. Whatever Allah's decision is, He wants to give you a sign, He'll give you a sign. He doesn't want to give you a sign, He's not going to give you a sign. This is the last Prophet. Now you have the Qur'an with you. You use Qur'an to determine, is this really the word of Allah or not? وَإِذَا أَزَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ رَحْمَةً مِنْ بَعْدِ الدُّرَّةِ مَسَّطْحُمْ And when we give people a taste, أَذَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ رَحْمَةً a, a taste of our mercy مِنْ بَعْدِ الدُّرَّةِ After some difficulty comes to them. مَسَّطْحُمْ It touches them. It just touches them. Difficulty doesn't overtake you. It just touches you. وَإِذَا هُمْ مَكْرِئُنْ مَكْرٌ فِي بِآيَاتِنَا And then what happens? They conspire against our ayat, right? قُلِ اللَّهُ أَسْرَعُوا مَكْرَ Say, look, Allah is faster than you in making a plot or a strategy. Or, or إِنَّا أَرْسَلْنَا in, إِنَّا رُسُلَنَا يَكْتُبُونَ مَا تَمْكُرُونَ And our messengers that are with you, the angels, they're writing down your plotting and planning. <laughs> so all the information is coming. <laughs> هُوَ الَّذِي يُسِيرُكُمْ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ حَتَّى إِذَا أَنْتُمْ فِي الْفُلْكِ And it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that lets you travel in the land and in the uh, sea. حَتَّى إِذَا كُنْتُمْ فِي الْفُلْكِ Until you're on the ship. And then what happens? So Allah has given you the ability to travel the sea and travel the lands. And then you go on a uh, ship. And then what what uh, and then they sail. A good wind takes them in the direction that they're going. And Farihubiha, and you're so happy that you're that you're sailing in the in with this wind and everything is going perfectly. And then Ja'at Rihun Asif. And then a stormy wind comes. And you see these uh, you know the the uh, the waves coming into the boat from all sides. It's stormy. It's raining. It's the winds are blowing from all sides. Your ship could sink any moment. And then what? What? جاءتهم موج من كل مكان وظنوا أنهم أحيط بهم. And the people in the ship they start thinking that they're covered from all sides. They're they're just gonna drown now. Then at that time you call Allah. This is man's nature. That man he could be an atheist, but he will call on God. When he is in difficulty, right? Because there's something inside him that says, "Just ask him, ask Allah, ask Allah." That's the natural thing. Call on Allah so sincerely at that time. Anjayna wa la in anjayna min baad min anjayna min hadhi, and when Allah saves them from this, la nakuna min al-shakirin, so that they would be of those people that give shukr to Allah. Allah saves you. Allah puts you in difficulty, so you come back to Him. And this happens. But what happens? Then when we save them, and then they do things on earth without any just cause, they do rebellions on earth that without any just cause, forget about doing shukr of Allah, they even go and do uh, crimes and immoral acts. Ya yuhannas inna baghyukum ala anfusikum. Your rebellion is only against yourselves. Your going against the limits is only against yourselves. Your rebellion is only against yourself. This world is very small. You're here today, you'll be gone tomorrow. That's everyone's story. The main thing is, when you go into your grave, what is your ending? Did you do the right things? Did you believe in the right things? Did you take the right actions? Did you, did you, you, know, did you save yourself? And then we will. Then you'll come back to us. And I will tell you about the things that you had been doing. This ayah is very important because this is going to go through now the history of man. Now we are in the second portion of this history, and then so it goes in three phases. One is the agrarian society, that all societies would be based upon agriculture. Then the earth brings out its resources, the oil, the copper, the minerals, they come. Then from there all the technology in the industrial age reaches its peak with, with technology and technology and technology reaching so high that man begins to think we have complete control of everything. 
Then the fourth stage where everything is taken away from you and you go back to the low technology and the big high technology is always is taken away from you. This is one way to look at this ayah. إنما مثل الحياة الدنيا كما إن أنزلناه من السماء فاختلط به الأرض فاختلط به نبات الأرض مما يأكل الناس والأنعام. The example of this life is like water that comes down from the sky. فاختلط به نبات الأرض. So the plants, uh, uh, the the so there there is the growth of the vegetation of uh, نبات الأرض, the plantation of the earth. مما يأكل الناس والأنعام from which people eat and the cattle they eat and the animals they eat. حتى إذا أخذت الأرض حتى until that time now phase number two إذا أخذت الأرض زحرفها the earth brings out its ornaments وزينات and makes it look beautiful what number three and then it comes it makes the you've now you've taken the things from the earth and you've made the whole the earth very beautiful you know the whole city is filled with lights and glamour and entertainment and everything and everything is technology based وذن أهلها أنهم قادرون عليها this is not phase number three. And the people on the earth, they begin to think they have control over everything. Then number four. Our command will come either in night or day. We will make it as if there was no yesterday. It will all be ruined. Right? Something will happen, some natural disaster. Like if the Yellowstone Park, for example, in America blows up. It would create enough chaos from in America and then because America is connected to the rest of the world, the rest of the world would economically drop uh, to a point that where the, the whole technology would... And, and then also, how long will these things in the earth remain? How oil is coming to... It's going to get more and more costly to dig deeper and deeper. You know, they used to dig for oil in land. Now they're digging for oil in the sea. So each, it takes even more money to drink, dig out the oil. Things are not as... As, as as stable as we think. Okay? It, it's a house of cards that can fall very quickly. Wallahu yad'ukum ila daris salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls you to the house of salam, the house of peace in the hereafter, or darus salam, the khilafah. Wa yahdi man yasha ila sirat mustaqim, or he can he guides to whoever he wants to the straight path. He calls you the darus salam, to the abode of salam. The only solution to this kind of like uh, the chaos and the corruption in the world that l takes the whole world by surprise is 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 Darus Salam is the Khilafah or the the hereafter. <laughs> For those people who have done good is the best and even more than that. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, referring to the Darul Salam in the hereafter, Allah says about them, Their faces will be not covered with dust or any shame. They're the people of Jannah. In it they will remain. In Jannah they will remain. And the people who earn evil, their reward will be an evil for an evil. Mithruha, exactly the same. An evil for an evil. They won't be given anything more. The people that do good will be given more. The people that do bad will not be given more. وَتَرْحَقُهُمْ ذِلَّةِ And they'll be covered with shame. مَا لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مِنْ عَاسٍ There's no one that is going to protect them from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. مَا لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ عَاسٍ There's no one to defend them from Allah. كَأَنَّمَا أُغْشِيَتْ وُجُوهَهُمْ قِطَرًا مِنَ الليل مظلما. It's as if their faces will be covered with pieces of darkness of the night time. Mudliman, Layla, Muslim. When the night is so dark, it'll be like as if their their face is like is is a, a place of nothingness. There's nothing there. It's actually a very interesting ayah from a scientific perspective, because you know darkness it means nothing. Like the black hole means nothing. There's nothing there. They don't have that. It, it, parts of them will be as if they don't exist. They're the people of the hellfire whom fiha khalidun. In it they will remain. Yawma nahshuruhum jami'an thumma nakulu lilladheena ashraku makanakum antum wa shurakaukum. Yawma nahshuruhum jami'an On the day we will gather them all together. Thumma nakulu lilladheena ashraku And we will say to the people that did shirk 
ثم نقول للذين أشركوا مكان مكانكم. Then we will say to the people that did shirk and made partners that there is a special type of shirk that's being mentioned here. This is the type of shirk that people associated with good pious people, like the people of Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam. You know, they they took pious people and started worshiping them. We also have this nowadays. Many Muslims start worshiping pious people in jahiliya, in ignorance, or even sometimes knowingly. But you know, they will be told, "Okay, you st sit, stand right here." Antum wa shuraka ukum, and your shuraka. And then what will happen? فَزَيَّلْنَا بَيْنَهُمْ So a, a separation will be made between the two, those people that did shirk, and the people that were being worshipped, the pious people, like Jesus, peace be upon him, for example. And so قَالَ شُرَكَاؤُهُمْ The people that were worshipped, you know, by these people, they will declare their innocence from, from, from what these people were doing. Right? Like in, in the Muslim Ummah, it's very famous that many people... Uh, will uh, you know say for example Ya Ali Madad, O oh Allah, O oh Ali, help us. When Ali is not uh, a god that can help you, he's not a demigod, he's not any type of god. Or people will say about Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalani or some other uh, pious person. But this is not the true. Uh, the, this is not the right way uh, or the Islamic way of of doing things with the people that have passed away. Uh, so قَالَ شُرَكَاؤُهُمْ Then those pious people, they will stand up and say, مَا كُنْتُمْ إِيَّانَا تَعْبُدُونَ You are not worshipping us. Because we are not gods. Why would you be worshipping me? We are not gods. We never asked you to do this to us. كَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ وَإِن كُنَّ عَنْ عِبَادَتِكُمْ لَغَافِلُونَ And sufficient Allah is a witness between us and you. And we were, we were of your worship unaware. Okay, an ibadatikum la ghafilun. We were we were not aware what you're doing. We had no say in what you're doing to us. You know we are free from this. Kafa billahi shahidan bayna na wa bayna kum. Hunalika nab tulu kulu nafsi ma ma aslafat. Over there, hunalika nab tulu. Over there, they will be tested. Kulu nafsi, every soul will be tested that day. Ma aslafat of what it had done before. وَرَدُّوا إِلَى اللَّهِ مَوْلَاهُمُ الْحَقِّ And they will be returned to their mawla, to their protector, to their creator, to their mawla, al-haq, the true one. Because they, why is the word mawla used here for Allah? Because they used to use them as their mawla, their protectors, and so on and so forth. Okay? وَظَلَّ عَنْهُمْ مَا كَانُوا يَفْتَرُونَ And they had gone astray because of the lies that they have invented. Right? قُلْ مَنْ يَرْزُقُكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَمْ مَنْ يَمْلِكُ السَّمْعَ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَمَنْ يَخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّتِ وَيُخْرِجُ الْمَيِّتَ مِنَ الْحَيِّ وَيُدَبِّرُ الْأَمْرَ فَسَيَقُولُونَ اللَّهِ فَقُلْ أَفَلَا تَتَّقُونَ قُلْ مَنْ يَرْزُقُكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ Say who is the one who provides you sustenance and providence in the skies, from the skies and earth? أَمَّنْ يَمْلِكُ السَّمْعَ وَالْأَبْصَارِ Or who is the one who controls your hearing and sight? Right? وَمَنْ يَخْلِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّتِ And who brings out the, the living from the dead? And يُخْلِجُ الْمَيِّتَ مِنَ الْحَيِّ And the dead from the living. وَيُدَبِّرُ الْأَمْرِ And he, uh, he is the one who has, يُدَبِّرُ الْأَمْرِ He is the one who has the planning of all the affairs. فَسَيَقُولُنَ اللَّهِ They will say Allah. Then why do you have these idols? If you know this, if you say this, if you admit this, if you agree to this, afala tataqun, do you then will not fear Allah? You're only it's it's quite much it's it's common sense, it's good sense to accept this, but you're not going to because of your pride, because of your traditions, because of your customs, because of your stubbornness, because you have rejected the truth after knowing the truth. فَذَلِكُمُ اللَّهُ رَبُّكُمُ الْحَقُّ That is your Allah, your Rabb, who is true. فَمَاذَا الْبَعْدَ الْحَقِّ إِلَّا الْضَلَالِ If you leave the truth, if you're going to leave this, if you leave the truth, what else is there after that except the wrong way? فَأَنَّا تُصْرَفُونَ So how are you uh, caused to do such a thing? How are you caused to, to such a change? Uh, how do you do that? كَذَلِكَ حَقَّتْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ, على الذين فَسَقُوا أَنَّهُمْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ كَذَلِكَ حَقَّتْ قَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ فَسَقُوا 
This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's word has come true upon the people that have been disobedient, that have been in fusuq. Annahum la yu'minun, they will not believe. Qul hal min shuraka'ikum man yabda'ul khalq thumma yu'idu? Is there anyone amongst your partners that you worship in these idols that can start the creation and repeat it? قُلِ اللَّهُ يَبْدَأُ الْخَلْقِ ثُمَّ يَعِيدُهُ Say Allah is the one who starts the creation and then repeats it. فَأَنَّا تُؤْفَكُونَ So how come you're deluded? How come you don't see the truth? هَلْ قُلْ O Prophet ﷺ asked them, هَلْ مِنْ شُرَكَائِكُمْ مَنْ يَحْدِي إِلَى الْحَقِّ Is there anyone amongst your partners that you worship tell you the right way? What are the rules you should live by? What are the principles you should live by? What are the principles that a society should live by? A civilization should be, live by? قُلِ اللَّهُ يَحْدِي لِلْحَقِّ Say, no, Allah is the one who guides to the truth. أَفَمَنْ يَحْدِي إِلَى أَحَقُّ أَنْ يَتَّبِعْ أَمَّنْ يَحْدِي أَمَّنْ لَا يَحْدِي إِلَّا أَنْ يُحْدَى أَفَمَنْ يَحْدِي إِلَى الْحَقِّ Is the one who guides you to the haqq, to the right way. أَحَقُّ أَنْ يُتْبَعْ does he have not more a right to be followed? Right? Amman la yuhdi, or the one who doesn't guide you. Illa an yuhda, except that it is made to follow the guidance. Fama lakum kayfa tahkumun. So, what is wrong with you how you make your decisions? Wama yattabi'u aktharahum illa dhan. Most of them don't follow except conjecture and speculation and assumptions. In nadanna la tuhni min al haqqi shay'a. And these ideas, these fake ideas, these assumptions, these speculations you have, 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 don't benefit you at all in regards to the truth. In Allah alimu bima yaf'alun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fully aware of what you do. Wa ma kana hadha al qur'ani yuftara min duni Allah. It was not possible for this Qur'an to be produced other than Allah, made by other than Allah, produced by other than Allah. Made, in the, you cannot say made in the sense that Qur'an is not the creation of Allah. وَلَكِنْ تَصْدِيقَ الَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ But it is a tasdiq, it is a confirmation of that which was before. وَتَفْصِيلَ الْكِتَابِ And it has the explanation of the former scriptures also. لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ In it is there is no doubt مِنْ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ From the Rabb of Al-Alamin, from the Rabb of the Lord of the Worlds. Am yakuluna iftara, or did they say the Prophet invented it? Fa'tu bi surat mimithni, okay, if you think he invented it, make some Qur'an equal to this then, some surah equal to this. Fa'tu bi surat mimithni, bring a surah equal to this. Fad'u in istata'atum min dun illahi in kuntum sadiqeen. If you're truthful, if you're really truthful in your claim that the Prophet invented this, then make something equal to Qur'an, you have all the poets. To help you, to make something that will that will be in, in better or even equal to this Quran, but you didn't do it, you couldn't do it, and you knew you couldn't do it. But they have denied the truth. That which they have denied what? You know they were being told in Mecca that the punishment will come and the punishment will come. And so Allah is saying that that punishment that's going to come is something that's outside their knowledge, outside their understanding. This is one way. And the other aspect is that since they were told to bring a, some, a Qur'an equal to this, and since they couldn't do it, they decided to make a lie of it. So both of these aspects are there. بَلْ كَذَّبُوا لَمَّا يُحِيطُ بِمَا لَمْ يُحِيطُ بِهِ مَا لَمْ يُحِيطُ بِالْعِلْمِهِ they denied it because of what their knowledge couldn't understand, get, couldn't comprehend. What, meaning, uh, they couldn't understand how to compete against Quran. A, and the other is they didn't, they, uh, they didn't, couldn't understand this, uh, the Prophet's warning, right? They just took it as, well, since, uh, they didn't know that it was really coming, they decided to make a lie of it. And because its interpretation, its final result has not yet come. This is how the people before also denied until you know it was too late. So then you can see for yourself what was the result of the people that did injustices, did the crimes, that did wrong. Amongst them there are those who believe in it. In, in the warnings, وَمِنْهُمْ لَا يؤمن, And amongst them, there are those who don't believe. وَرَبُّكَ أَعْلَمُ بِالْمُفْسِدِينَ And those who don't believe it, 
are the mufsidin, are the people that want chaos and corruption in their status quo and their self-interest in the world. And your Rabb knows the people that want to cause fasad. وَإِن كَذَّبُوكَ فَقُلْ لِي عَمَلِي وَلَكُمْ عَمَلَكُمْ And if they deny you, O Prophet وسلم, say to you, look, for me is my deeds, for you is your deeds. أَنْتُمْ أن, أَنْتُمْ You are bari'un free مِمَّا amalu of what I do. وَأَنَا بَرِئُمْ مِمَّا تَعْمَلُونَ And I'm free for what you do, you're free from what I do. وَمِنْهُمْ يَمْشُونَ يَسْتَمِيُونَ إِلَيْكَ and amongst them, there are some that they listen to you. فَأَنْتَ تُسْمِئُ الصُّمَّ وَلَوْ كَانُوا لَا يَعْقِلُونَ O Prophet ﷺ, will you be able to force someone to listen to you? Or force them to listen to you? وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَسْتَمِيُونَ إِلَيْكَ أَفَأَنْتَ تُسْمِئُ الصُّمَّ Will you make the one who's deaf make him hear? أَوَلَوْ كَانُوا لَا يَعْقِلُونَ Even if they don't have, they don't have, they will not, they don't have aql, they don't have any reasoning. وَمِنْهُمْ مَا يَنْذُرُونَ إِلَيْكَ And amongst them, there are those who look at you, right? They're standing there, listening to there, they're standing there looking at you. أَفَأَنْتَ تَحْدِي أُمْيَ Are you going to guide the blind? وَلَوْ كَانُوا لَا يُبْصِرُونَ Even though they don't see, they don't see you, that how, just by seeing the Prophet, a person of good intentions, a good heart, would be moved. But these people don't get moved by even seeing the Prophet. They don't get moved by listening to the Prophet, وسلم, by being in his presence. In Allah لا يظلم الناس شيئا Allah does not wrong anyone even a bit anything ولكن أنفسهم يظلمون but they wrong themselves they're doing wrong to themselves يوم يحشرهم كأن لا يلبثوا إلا ساعة من النهار okay and then on the day on the day يحشرهم the day we gather them كأن لا يلبثوا إلا ساعة من النهار it will be you know this life right it will feel to them as if Actually, if you look at this ayah, إِلَّا سَعَةً سَعَةً means even one hour. Okay. وَيَوْمَ يَنَحْشُرُهُمْ كَأَنَّا لَمْ يَلْبَثُوا إِلَّا سَعَةً مِنَ النَّهَارِ They didn't know each other even... Sorry. They will be gathered on the day, لَمْ يَلْبَثُوا إِلَّا سَعَةً They didn't spend time in the world like as if as if they had spent only one hour مِنَ النَّهَارِ of the day. This is why تَعْرِفُونَ يَتَعَارَفُونَ بَيْنَهُمْ and because of this feeling that they had only been in the in the grave or they had been in the dunya only for an hour before the day of judgment, this is why they would recognize each other. This is, or this is why they would they would recognize each other. Or there, who's my mother? Who's my father? Who's my sister? So on and so forth. Qad ladina kafaru. Because if in human experience so much time had gone by, that means that the the memories of the past are getting farther and farther away. But it will only feel like a little while. And that's why your memories would have not faded away, which is a very interesting point. Those people who have denied the truth regarding the meeting of Allah, and they are not on the right way. They're not guided. فَإِلَيْنَا مَرْجِعُهُمْ ثُمَّ اللَّهُ شَهِيدًا عَلَى مَا يَفْعَلُونَ إِمَّا نُرِيَنَّكَ And if we were to show you, O Prophet ﷺ, بَعْدَ الَّذِي نُعِذُ Some of the things that we were to, we promised them. أَوْ نَتَوَفِّيَنَّكَ Or we cause you to die, ﷺ. فَإِلَيْنَا مَرْجِعُكُمْ Then you will all come back to us. ثُمَّ اللَّهُ شَهِيدٌ عَلَى مَا يَفْعَلُونَ Then Allah will be a witness to what you used to do. Meaning, what this means is they were being promised that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring His punishment. So Allah is telling the Prophet, وَإِمَّا نُرِيَنَكَ بَعْدَ الَّذِي نُعِذُهُمْ If we give them what we have promised them, the threats basically, that the punishment of Allah, we can give it while you're alive. Or we give it to them after you pass away. But either way, you're going to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِمَّا نُرِيَنَّكَ بَعْدَ الَّذِي نُعِذُهُمْ أَوْ نَتَوَفِّيَنَّكَ But either we give it to you while you're alive and you can see the punishment on them or after you pass away. then. But either way, whatever the case, فَإِلَيْنَا مَرْجِئُكُمْ That promise will happen, but this will also happen 
then you will all be brought back to me in the day of judgment. And Allah would have been a witness over what they had done. Had they brought iman on you and the punishment would have been diverted, whether you are alive with them or not alive with them, or that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, or, or, or maybe they brought iman on, or if they didn't bring iman on you, they didn't believe in you, and you had passed away, then the punishment of Allah would have come to them in the world, and then also in the hereafter. وَلِكُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رُسُولٍ And for every ummah, for every nation, there is a rusul, a messenger. فَإِذَا جَاءَ رُسُلُهُمْ قُضِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ When a messenger comes to them, it's all decided between them. بِالْقِسْتِ injustice. وَهُمْ لَا يُذْلَمُونَ And they will not be wronged. وَيَقُولُونَ مَتَى هَذَا الْوَعْدُ إِن كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ When is this promise going to happen if you are truthful? This can be referring to the Day of Judgment or this can be referring to the punishment the Prophet was talking about that if you don't believe in me, that punishment will come. So the punishment meaning the Day of Judgment or that. But most likely it is referring to the punishment that the Prophet is talking about. The people of Makkah are going to suffer a punishment if they don't believe in me. I'm the messenger towards you. Now, what's the relationship between Sutta Tawbah and Sutta Yunus? is Sutta Tawbah tells you the final installment of that punishment. That punishment was when Ali radiallahu anh went there and read to them, look, if you don't believe now, you're going to be punished. Either you believe or die. Then this is the punishment that will be given to you by the hands of the believers. Okay? O Prophet sallam say to them, I don't hold for myself. لا أملك لي نفسي for myself ضرر ولا نفع any harm or any benefit إلا ما شاء الله except whatever Allah wills ولكل أمة أجل and every أمة every has its appointed time إذا جاء أجلهم لا لا يستأخرون ساعة if when their appointed time comes they're not delayed even by one hour ولا يستقدمون and nor does it come beforehand قل أرأيتم إن أتاك do you say, O Prophet ﷺ, say to them, أَرَأَيْتُمْ Do you see in آتَاكُمْ أَذَابُهُ If his punishment comes to you at night or in the daytime, مَاذَا تَسْتَعْجِلُونَ مِنْهُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ Right? If, you, if Allah's punishment comes by day or by night, for which, uh, you know, are you impatient? Are the, are the criminals impatient? Impatient? Are the criminals? ماذا يستعجل? What is your hurry? منه المجرم. What is the hurry of these criminals? Why are they in such a hurry? ثم إذا وقع آمنتم به. ثم إذا وقع آمنتم به. And when that punishment, as it's actually occurring over you, then at that time you're going to believe. الآن now you're going to believe when you see the punishment, right? قَدْ كُنْتُمْ بِهِ تَسْتَعْجِلُونَ But before this, you were in a hurry, bring the punishment, bring the punishment. ثُمَّ قِيلَ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا ذُوقُ الْأَذَابِ الْخُلْدِ Then it was said to the people that did wrong, taste the punishment that is eternal. هَلْ يَنْذُرُونَ إِلَّا هَلْ يُجْزَوْنَ إِلَّا بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَكْسِبُونَ Should you be given any reward other than what you have earned? وَيَسْتَعْزِنُونَكَ الْحَقِّ and they ask you, sallallahu they ask your permission, okay? Uh, is it true? Ahuwa uh, haq? Is this true? Is this really true? E wa rabbi, innahu la haq. Yes, by my rabb, this is haq. Wa ma kuntum li tu'j... Wa ma kuntum, wa ma kuntum bi mu'jizin. And when the punishment of Allah comes, whether of this life or the next life, if you reject the Prophet in this life or in the hereafter, when the punishment of Allah comes, ma kuntum bihi, be mu'jizin. You cannot uh, cause it to not happen. You cannot make it not to happen, except it will happen. وَلَوْ أَنَّ لِكُلِّ نَفْسٍ ظَلَمَتْ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ لَفْتَدَتْ بِهِ And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَوْ أَنَّ لِكُلِّ نَفْسٍ ظَلَمَتْ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ لَفْتَدَتْ بِهِ If the people that, لو, لو أن لكل, if all the souls, if any, وَأَنَّ لِكُلِّ نَفْسٍ ظَلَمَتْ If any soul, okay, if each soul that had done zulm to itself, wrong itself, if it had the entire earth to ransom itself, it wouldn't be taken from them. وَأَصَرُّ نَدَامًا 
and they had in, inside themselves secretly they felt regret at that time you'll have regret oh I wish I would have believed in Muhammad at that time and it will be decided between them in justice and they will not be wronged Indeed, for Allah is whatever is in the heavens and the earth. And know it that the promise of Allah is truth. But most of them, they don't know it. They don't see the truth. He is the one who gives the life. He is the one who gives the death. And you have to return to him. Oh mankind. A warning, a, a, a nasiha, a, a sermon, an instruction has become from your Rabb, from your Lord, shifa wa shifa, and healing, because mankind needs a lot of healing because of the difficulties we go through life. Wa shifa un lima fi sudur, and shifa for healing for that which is in the hearts, wa rahma, wa huda wa rahma lil mu'mineen, guidance and rahma for the believers. Right? Qul. O Prophet وسلم, said, say to them, Be Fadlillahi wa bi rahmatihi, Fadalika Yafrahu wa khayru mimma yajma'un. About this Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the Prophet, Be Fadlillahi wa bi rahmatihi. This is the Fadl of Allah, this Quran. Wa rahma, and it is His rahma. Fadalika Yafrahu. This is what you should be happy over. This guidance, this Quran, this 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 instruction that this healing that's been given to you, that has come to you, the rahmah of Allah that's come to you. Fadalika Yafrahu. It is better than all the things that you gather. Qul araaytum ma anzal Allahu lakum min min riskin, fajaltu minhu haraman wa halalan. Qul a Allah adin lakum wa ala Allah yaftarun. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O Prophet sallallahu say to them, and then it was being asked to the pagans of Arabia, the Quraysh, قُلْ أَرْعَيْتُمْ مَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ مِنْ رِزْقٍ This risk that have you seen, this risk that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down to you as risk for you, فَجَعَلْتُمْ مِنْهُمْ حَرَامًا وَحَلَالًا Allah gave you the risk, but you make part of it haram and halal yourself. You make the rules uh, on behalf of Allah yourself. قُلْ أَذِنَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ Allahu adina lakum. Did Allah give you permission for this? Am an Allahi taftarun, or do you invent a lie against Allah Subhanahu wa Taala? Now, the the explanations of this has already been given previously in Sutul An'am. It came in detail, and Sutul Ma'idah were the final actual list by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala of what you're allowed to eat, what not allowed to eat, what is halal and what is not haram of the foods given in Sutul Ma'idah. But Sutul An'am also uh, talked about this issue in detail. Over here, it just came as a question to them. And what will be, what will be the dhan, what will be the thoughts, what will be the supposition? Those people who made a lie over Allah, Yawm al Qiyam, on the Day of Judgment, what will you say on the Day of Judgment? You made something halal that's, uh, that's haram, or you made something uh, haram that is halal. You know, what will you say on the Day of Judgment? Just by your pure. In Allah Fadlin Al Nas, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is full of bounty over mankind. But most of them don't give thanks. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, You're not on some affair. وَمَا تَتْلُو مِنْهُ مِنْ قُرْآنِ When Prophet is engaged in his da'wah, or whatever he's doing, when he's uh, engaged in his matters, وَمَا تَتْلُو مِنْهُ مِنْ قُرْآنِ Or whatever you recite of the Qur'an, وَمَا تَعْلَمُونَ مِنْ عَمَلٍ وَلَا تَعْلَمُونَ مِنْ عَمَلٍ إِنَّا كُنَّا عَلَيْكُمْ شَهُودًا You don't do any action except, you know, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, or no one does any action except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is over it a witness. وَمَا تُن Except when you are is when you are in that affair. So Prophet whether he's reciting Quran or he's in an affair, he's engaged with you, whatever you do, Allah subhanahu wa is a witness over it. And nothing escapes your Rabb, right? Rabbika. 
من رثقال ذرات even to the weight of an atom in the earth or in the skies ولا أصغر من ذلك ولا أكبر nothing even smaller than that nothing even bigger than that this is very interesting because Allah is saying here there's something smaller than the weight of an atom which we know as subatomic particles right so there's the atom and then there's that which is smaller than that and then there's that there's those things that are bigger than that ولا أصغر من ذلك ولا أكبر إلا في كتاب مبين except it's written in a clear book Imagine what type of book this is. Ala inna awliya Allah la khawfun alayhim wa lahum yahzanun. Know it well that the awliya Allah, the friends of Allah, la khawfun alayhim. There's no fear upon them wa lahum yahzanun. Nor will they have any sadness. Alladina amanu wa kanu yattaqun. Those people who believe and have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لهم بشرى في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة. For them is the good news of this world and the hereafter. لا مبدل لكلماتي. لا مبدل لكلمات الله. There's no changing the words of Allah. These are things that are fixed. If Allah said it, it's fixed. And Allah سبحانه وتعالى keeps His Sunnah. The way Allah does things is the way Allah does things. ذلك هو الفوز العظيم. This is the that is the greatest success. Allah has promised. Those who do good deeds, this will be the result. Those will be the bad deeds, this will be the result. Those who struggle with the Prophet, this will be the result. Those who betray the Prophet, this will be the result. Those nations that hold on to justice, this will be the result. Those nations that do injustices and try to play God, this will be the result. This is لا مبدل لكلمات الله. There's no changing the kalima of Allah, the statement of Allah. It is as it is, and it will happen as it is, as it has been said. ولا يحزن كقولهم don't be grieved, O Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but why, what, by what they say. Inna izzata lillahi jami'a. The izza and the honor is completely with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, who is Samiun Alim. He is the one who hears and he knows everything completely. Allah inna lillahi in inna lillahi man fi al-samawati wa man fi al-ard. Allah, for know it well. Lillahi ma fi al-samaw. In indeed, for Allah is whatever is in the heavens and the earth. Wa ma يتبع الذين يدعون من دون الله شركاء يتبع الذين يدعون من دون الله شركاء وما يتبع الذين يدعون من دون الله شركاء and they did not who follow or call upon other than Allah as partners those people that make partners to Allah يتبعون إلا ظن they follow nothing but accept exemptions right in whom إلا يخرسون and they're doing nothing but making false claims making false statements. He's the one who made the night for you so you could take find rest in it and the daytime. And the daytime Mubsira. And the daytime for you to see. In Yasma'un. And indeed are in this are signs for a people that will listen. Subhanahu Huwal Ghani. They say Allah has adopted a son. Subhanahu, he's perfect. Huwal ghani, he's self-sufficient. He doesn't need anybody. Lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard. For him is whatever is in the heavens and the earth. Wa in wa in dakum min sultan bihada. Do you have any proof of this? Do you have any real proof of this? Am taqulun ala Allahi ma la taalamun. Or do you say over Allah something that for which you have no proof, you don't know? قُلْ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَتَرَوْا إِنَّ الَّذِينَ إِنْدِيدْ دَوْسْ يَفْتَرُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ لَا يُفْلِهُونَ Those people who may invent a lie against Allah, they will not be successful. مَتَاءٌ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا ثُمَّ إِلَيْنَا مَرْجِئُهُمْ They have some benefit in this world. ثُمَّ إِلَيْنَا مَرْجِئُهُمْ Then they will return to us. ثُمَّ نُذِيكَهُمُ الْعَذَابَ Over here is ala, aya, the tazkir bi ala illa. Allah is saying, look at my creation. Okay? Watlu alayhim naba anuh. Now here Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam comes and Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam will come in a lot of detail in the next surah. Watlu alayhim naba anuh. Ith qala li qawmihi ya qawmi in kana kabur alaykum maqami tazkiri bi ayati allahi fa'ala allahi falyata fatawakkaltu. So, Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam, Watlu alayhim naba anuh. O Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam recite to them the news or the information about Nuh. Ith qala li qawmihi, that moment where he said to his people, or when he said to his people, Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam said to his people, Ya qawmi in kana kabura alaykum, if it is difficult for you, maqami, this maqami, my being in this place with you, wa tazkiri, and my reminding you, 
bi ayatillahi. Now, over here, the Prophet was doing the same. So, an example is being given that Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam did this before. He used to be amongst his people and used to remind them and see what was the result. And his reminding bi ayatillah regarding the ayat of Allah. Allahi so, on Allah, you should trust. فَأَجْمَعُوا أَمْرَكُمْ وَشُرَكَاءُكُمْ فَأَجْمَعُوا أَمْرَكُمْ Okay, then bring about your plan, whatever plans you have against me, then do it and see what happens. فَأَجْمَعُوا أَمْرَكُمْ وَشُرَكَاءُكُمْ And even your partners. ثُمَّ لَا يَكُونُ لَا يَكُنْ أَمْرُكُمْ عَلَيْكُمْ غُمَّ Then after that, and let not your plan against me have any doubt. غُمَّ ثُمَّ and then go ahead, carry it out against me. And don't give me any respite. Don't ha don't show me any mercy. Go ahead, fulfill your plans. You and your God on one side, me and my Allah on the other side. Go ahead, do what you're going to do. And if you turn away, meaning the Prophet Nuh is saying, فَإِن تَوَلَّيْتُمْ فَمَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ مِنْ أَجْرِ If you turn away, I'm not asking you for any reward. In ajri إِلَّا عَلَى اللَّهِ My reward is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأُمِرْتُ أَنْ أَكُونَ أَوَّلَ أَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ أُمِرْتُ أَنْ أَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ And I've been commanded to be amongst the Muslims. فَكَذَّبُوهُ فَنَجَّيْنَاهُ وَمَمَعَاهُ فِي الْفُلْكِ So they denied him. They made a lie him of him. فَجْتَبَيْنَاهُ But we chose him. وَمَنْ مَعَاهُ And then whoever was with him فِي الْفُلْكِ In the ship. فَجْعَلْنَاهُمْ خُلَفَاءَ خَلَائِفْ And we made them the inheritors of the earth. They're, it is their generations that continued after that on earth. وَأَغْرَقْنَا الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا And we drowned the people who before this أَغْرَقْنَا الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا And we drowned the people who made a lie of our signs. فَانْزُرْ كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الْمُنْذِرِينَ So see what was the result of those people that when that they were warned but they didn't heed to the warning. ثُمَّ بَعَثْنَا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ رُسُلٌ إِلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ فَجَاءَهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ Then after that other messengers came after him. رُسُلٌ إِلَىٰ قَوْمِهِمْ To their nations. فَجَاءَهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ And they also came with clear signs. فَمَا كَانُوا لِيُؤْمِنُوا بِمَا كَذَّبُوا بِهِ مِنْ قَبْلِ And they were not to believe because of the, the because of the lie that they had, had their denial of the truth. مِنْ قَبْلِ From before. ذَلِكَ نَتْبَعُوا عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِ الْمُعْتَدِينَ This is how we seal the hearts of the people that transgress all limits. Why do people deny the truth after seeing the truth? Because they're stubborn, because they're arrogant, because of their self-interest. They want things the way, it's like my way or the highway because they're narcissists, really. Right? ثُمَّ بَعَثْنَا مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ مُوسَى وَحَارُونَ And then after that we raised after them Musa and Harun إِلَىٰ فِرْعَون to Fir'aun وَمَلَائِهِ and his, 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 the, the leaders of Fir'aun meaning that were with Fir'aun his um, you could say his, 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 uh, his establishment وَبِآيَاتِنَا فَاسْتَكْبَرُوا وَمَا كَانُوا قَوْمًا مُجْرِمِينَ بِآيَاتِنَا with our signs فَاسْتَكْبَرُوا but they were arrogant وَمَا كَانُوا قَوْمًا مُجْرِمِينَ And they, uh, uh, sorry, فَاسْتَكْبُرُوا وَكَانُوا قَوْمًا مُجْرِمِينَ And they were a people that were criminals, right? Because they'd enslaved people, weren't letting them go, and uh, killing the boys, letting the girls go. This is what happens when you don't have guidance. فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ حَقْ When the truth came to them, مِنْ عِنْدِنَا فَرَمْ أَسْ قَالُوا إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا سِحْرٌ مُبِينَ Because they also had no answer. They said to Musa, just like you're like, oh, the Prophet is, uh, you're lying the Prophet and making excuses. Over here they saw the, uh, the they you know, they saw the miracles of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. And they also said, إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا سِحْرٌ مُبِينَ This is just clear magic. قَالَ مُوسَى أَتَكُولُونَ لِلْحَقِّ لَمَّا جَاءَكُمْ أَتَكُولُونَ لِلْحَقِّ لَمَّا جَاءَكُمْ أَسِحْرٌ هَذَا وَلَا يُفْلِهُ الْصَاحِرُونَ Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, he said to them, Do you say about the truth? أم, uh, قَالَ مُوسَى أَمْ تَقُولَ لِلْحَقِّ لَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ When it came to you, أَسِحْرٌ هَذَا You say, Musa says to them, Do you say this is magic? أَسِحْرٌ هَذَا وَلَا يُفْلِهُ الصَّاحِرُونَ The magicians, they're never successful. قَالُوا أَجِعْتَنَا لِتَلْفَتِنَا Okay. قَالُوا uh, oh, They said to Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, Have you come to us? لِتَلْفِتِنَا 
amma wajadna alihi abaana concerning have you come to change us from where we from doing what our forefathers were doing wa takunu lakuma kibriya'i and so that you and Harun, meaning Musa and Harun, so you will have the authority fill earth on the earth. وَمَا نَحْنُ بِ وَمَا نَحْنُ لَكُمَا بِمُؤْمِنِينَ And we're not going to believe in you too. We're not going to believe in you too. وَقَالَ فِرْعَوْنُ اِعْتُونِ بِكُلِّ سَاحِرٍ عَلِيمٍ And so Fir'aun said, bring to me all the magicians, all of the knowledge of the magicians, bring them to me. فَلَمَّا جَاءَ السَّحْرَةُ قَالَ لَهُمْ مُوسَىٰ أَلْقُوا مَا أَنْتُمْ مُلْقُونَ So when the magicians were all there, again this has been mentioned before, but you know the magicians were all there and then they said to قَالَ لَهُمْ مُوسَىٰ أَلْقُوا مَا أَنْتُمْ مُلْقُونَ Go ahead, do what you're going to do. Okay, go throw what you're going to throw. فَلَمَّا أَلْقُوا So when they threw this, the things that they had, قَالَ قَالَ مُوسَىٰ مَا جِئْتُمْ بِهِ السِّحْرِ This is magic what you have. إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَيُبْطِلُ Allah is going to change it. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُسْلِهُ عَمَلَ الْمُفْسِدِينَ This is one of the ayat that you read over and over again if someone has magic to remove the magic. And it's possible the jinn will start talking and so on and so forth. But from here, فَلَمَّا أَلْقُوا قَالَ مُوسَىٰ مَا جِئْتُمْ بِهِ السِّحْرِ What you have come with is magic. إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَيُبْطِلُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will change this. Meaning change it from the magic, Allah will turn it over. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُفْلِهُ الْعَمَلُ الْمُفْسِدِينَ Allah does not give success to the actions of the wrongdoers. وَيُحِقُّ اللَّهُ الْحَقَّ بِكَلِمَاتِ وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْمُجْرِمُونَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throws or establishes the truth with his words. وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْمُجْرِمُونَ No matter how much the criminals dislike this. Again, this is part of the ayat that need to be read when curing magic. فَلَمَّا آمَنَ فَمَا آمَنَ لِمُوسَىٰ إِلَّا ذُرِّيَةً مِّنْ إِلَّا ذُرِّيَةً مِّنْ قَوْمِ عَلَىٰ خَوْفٍ مِّنْ فِرْعَوْنِ وَمَلَئِهِمْ إِلَّا أَنْ يُفْتِنَهُمْ فَمَا آمَنَ لِمُوسَىٰ When you have tyrants in charge, it becomes hard to believe. So, فَمَا آمَنَ لِمُوسَىٰ إِلَّا ذُرِّيَةً مِّنْ قَوْمِ No one believed in Moses. Musa alayhi salatu wa salam, illa dhurriyata min qawmi, except for some youth amongst his people, ala khawfin min fir'aun, wa mala'ihi, out of the fear of fir'aun and the establishment that was there, an yuftinahum, that they would put them in trial. Inna fir'aun la'alin fil ard. Fir'aun was very boastful and trying to be high, trying to be high fil ard on earth, wa innahu la minal musrifeen, and he was amongst those people that went against all bounds. Crossed all bounds of goodness. قال موسى يا قوم إن كنتم آمنتم بالله فعليه توكلت إن كنتم مسلمين. So Musa alayhi salatu wasalam said to him, Oh my people, إن كنتم آمنتم بالله if you were if you were to believe in Allah فعليه توكلوا and you should trust in Allah سبحانه وتعالى. إن كنتم مسلمين if you are truly Muslims and you should trust in Allah. You should stand up for what is right. You should stand up against injustices. قالوا على الله توكلنا. ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للقوم الظالمين. and they said and this is a dua for people to memorize even today. قالوا على الله توكلنا we trust in Allah. ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة. Allah don't make us a فتنة للقوم الظالمين for people that do wrong. people people that will do wrong they will put us into trials. don't don't let that happen. ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للقوم الظالمين. آمين. وَنَجِّنَا بِرَحْمَتِكَ مِنْ قَوْمِ الْكَافِرِينَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from a people that are, that reject the truth. They have such arrogance, they reject the truth when it comes to them. وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَى مُوسَى وَأَخِيهِ أَنْ تُنَبَّأُوا لِقَوْمِكُمَا بِمِصْرَ بِيُوتًا This is very important. And we inspired, وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَى مُوسَى وَأَخِيهِ We inspired, we gave revelation wahi to Musa alayhi salatu wasalam and his brother. What? تَبَوَّأُوا لِقَوْمِكُمَا Settle your people in the town. Misr here is translated as Egypt. Misr doesn't mean Egypt, even though it just happened to be Egypt. Misr means any town. Okay? So, settle your people in the town, in houses. مِصْرَ بَيُوتًا وَجْعَلُوا بَيُوتَكُمْ قِبْلَةً And make your houses facing the Qibla. Meaning, make your houses a place to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَىٰ Establish the prayer وَبَشِّرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And give good tidings to the believers. Now, this was Musa alayhi salatu wasalam's way of getting them ready for that phase where they had to leave. That they would start praying and they would make their houses into qiblas. Okay? 
وقال موسى ربنا إنك آتيت فرعون وملأه زينة وأموالا في الحياة الدنيا and Musa alayhi salatu wasalam said to Allah Rabbana innaka oh Allah Rabb you gave atayta fir'auna wa mala'uhu zinatan wa amwalan you gave the people of Fir'aun and his his establishment zina the beauty of dunya wa amwal and the and the wealth fi al-hayat al-dunya Rabbana li yudhillu an sabilik so now they oh Allah oh Allah they're leading people away from your path okay Rabbana atmis ala amwalihim wa shdud ala qulubihim Rabbana atmis, Allah destroy over their, 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 what they have of their wealth. Washdud ala kulubihim. And make their hearts hardened. Fala yu'minu hatta yarawu al-adhab al-alim. They will not believe now until they see the punishment. When everyone sees the punishment, when a messenger comes, like happened in the case of Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam, which will be, uh, Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam will be mentioned here. Um, when the, they saw the punishment, then, you know, they, 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 then they believed. But then it was too late. Okay, except in the case of Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam, which we will go into. قَالَ قَدْ أُجِيبَ الدَّعْوَةُكُمَا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I have answered the prayer or the dua of you two. فَاسْتَقِيمَا So you two remain steadfast, strong. وَلَا تَتَّبِئَنْ وَلَا تَتَّبِئَانِ السَّبِيلِ لِلَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ And don't follow the path of those people who don't know. وَجَاوَزْنَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ الْبَحْرِ فَأَتْبَعَهُمْ فِرْعَوْنَ وَجَنُودُهُ بَغْيًا عَدُوَّةً So, جَاوَزْنَا So, the people of Bani Israel, they began to cross, they crossed the bahr, the sea. فَأَتْبَعَهُمْ فِرْعَوْنَ فِرْعَوْنَ followed them وَجَنُودُهُ and his army. بَغْيًا وَعَدُوَّةً He followed them in 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 Baghin crossing all limits of goodness and Aduwa and as an enemy. Hatta Ida Adrakahul Gharq until he was seeing himself drown. Qala Amantulahu I believe in him. La ilahi ladi amantu bi there's no divine other than he, I believe in him. But bihi Banu Israel Ana Minal Muswa Ana Minal Muslimin. And I believe in which there's no God other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in, I believe in that which the children of Bani Israel believe and I am amongst the Muslims. So he said this at that time. But it was too late. Al-an, now you believe? Now? Qad asayta min qabl. When you were dis, dis, disobeying before. Wa kunta min al-mufsidin. And you were of those that were doing fasad. Either the angel said this to him or Allah said this to him or it was just said as a statement afterward by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here. But Al-An, this kind of shows that it was being said to him. قَلْ أَسَيْتَ قَبْلُ You had been disobeying before. وَكُنْتَ مِنَ الْمُفْسِدِينَ Or Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam could have said this too. Allahu alam. فَالْيَوْمَ نَجِّيكَ بِبَضَنِيكَ لِتَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةً Very important ayah. Today we will save you. نُنَجِّيكَ بِبَضَنِيكَ With your badan, with your body. We will save you. لِتَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةً So you will be a sign for the people that come after. إِنَّ كَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ أَنْ آيَاتِنَا لَغَافِلُونَ Indeed, majority of the people, they are heedless of our signs. So when the body of Fir'aun was discovered now afterwards, when the body was found in the Valley of Kings, when the body of Fir'aun was found, that was a sign that the time of Pharaoh has returned, that the end of times is coming near. Okay? But this ayah has other meanings. فَالْيَوْمَ نُنَجِّكَ بِبَدْنِكَ The word badan has many meanings. The word badan means body. The word badan means a small shield. The word badan also means by, by a seashore. So he, his body was found by the seashore with a small shield in his hand. In his body he was found. لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَا So he will, you will be a sign for those that come after you. إِنَّ كَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ أَنْ آيَاتِنَا لَغَافِلُونَ Majority of the people, when it comes to the ayat of Allah, the signs of Allah, they are heedless. They don't see the signs of Allah. قَدْ بَوَّنَّا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says, and then after that, لَقَدْ بَوَّنَّا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ مُبَوَّى صِدْقٍ We settled Bani Israel in a, in a, in a good, good place of settlement. وَرَزَقْنَاهُمْ مِنْ طَيِّبَاتِ And we gave them rizq from طَيِّبَاتِ, from good things. فَمَخْتَلَفُوا هَتَّى جَاءَهُمُ الْإِلْمِ and then they started to disagree when knowledge came to them. Other prophets came and then they started disagreeing. So now this will 
this is an ummah, right? From ummah from Musa to Isa. So the ummah was a new ummah was established, and our ummah is like the ummah of Bani Israel. So we have a lot of similarities, as I've mentioned before. Inna Rabbaka yaqdi baynahum yawm al qiyamah. Allah will decide between them on the day of judgment. Fi ma kanu fi yaktalifun about the things in which they were disagreeing. Okay. Malik bin Nabi, one of the great scholars of Islam, uh, points out something very interesting. Now, even though the Quran has meant much information that's also in the previous books, but then there's things that in the Quran that are unique. One of the things that's unique in the Quran is the is the discovery of the body of Fir'aun, and the and the saving of the bodies of Fir'aun, the process of this mummying the bodies where they would put the wrap around the body and save it and so it wouldn't uh, disintegrate, right? This is something that is alluded to in the Qur'an but not found in the previous books. But a lot of the stories as they are found, right? A lot of the stories that uh, that uh, could be verified from the people of the book of the previous books. وَإِنْ كُدَّ فِي شَكِّمْ Obviously the, 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 the audience here is not the Prophet وسلم, even though it's being said to the Prophet but you know sometimes you dislike someone so that you don't even speak to them or sometimes if you speak to someone directly they'll get upset so you say it to somebody else so that the message can go to the people that you are actually intending the message to وَإِنْ كُنْتَ فِي شَكِّمْ مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ O Prophet وسلم, if you have any doubt about the message we've sent to you, the, what we've sent down to you, فَاسْأَلِ الَّذِينَ يَكْرَعُونَ الْكِتَابِ Ask those people who read the book من قبل, from before. لَقَدْ جَاءَكَ الْحَقِّ Indeed, the truth has come to you. وَمِنْ رَبِّكَ From your, your Rabb, فَلَا تَكُونَنَّا مِنَ الْمُمْتَرِينَ Don't be of those people that doubt. You know, how did the Prophet وسلم, the only Prophet the Prophet could have known about, historically speaking, is Prophet Ibrahim. The Prophet wouldn't have known the details of the other Prophets. It was impossible for him to know the details of the people, of the of the rabbis of Medina, what type of details they have of the different Prophets. But yet it is, here it is, Quran is reciting to them something that they have, right? Uh, that they have with them also to confirm that which is coming to the Prophet is from the same source, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَلَا تَكُونَنَّا مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ فَتَكُونَا مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ And don't be of those people who deny the ayat of Allah, the signs of Allah, فَتَكُونَا مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ And then they found themselves to be in, in loss. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ حَقَّتْ عَلَيْهِمْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Those people whose Allah's word has come true upon them, right? تُبِعَ قُلُوبِ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ Their hearts have been sealed. They will not believe now. وَإِنْ جَاءَتْهُمْ كُلُّ آيَةٍ حَتَّى يَرَوْا الْعَذَابِ الْأَلِيمِ Even if, like Fir'aun, they see every sign, right? They will not believe. حَتَّى يَرَوْا الْعَذَابِ الْأَلِيمِ Until they see the punishment. Then what happened? When the thing that mentioned Surah Tawbah, when the Prophet came and the believers came and they gave the ultimate, you have four, uh, you have four months to ex either accept or reject, then they believed because now they saw the punishment coming upon them. Now they believed. فَلَوْلَا كَانَتْ قَرْيَةٌ آمَنَ آمَنَتْ فَنَفَعَاهَا إِمَانُهَا إِلَّا قَوْمَ يُنِسْ What happened with Prophet Yunus والسلام, was that every Prophet has to be in his place of his job where he's sent. He has to witness the punishment on the people he's been sent to. What happened with Yunus والسلام, was he told them the punishment of Allah will come. He told them the punishment is coming. And when he saw, when he, when now, when he given, now all the da'wah was given, it was very clear, they know the truth, they were rejecting the truth, all of that was happening, same as the people of Makkah, except in the case of Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam, what he did was, when he knew now the punishment's coming, he left his place, and, and, and that's why the, when the whale ate him, or it took him in, swallowed him, when the whale swallowed him, it happened because he left his place of, where the punishment was going to happen because the Prophet of Allah has to bear witness the destruction of the people he was sent to. Yunus on his judgment, you know, not on purpose, but he made a wrong judgment. He left without Allah's permission. Now his people, when they saw the punishment, the Prophet was not there to witness it. So they believed in Allah and Allah stopped the punishment. So that was the one illa qawma Yunus. Except for the Prophet, the people of Yunus والسلام, their punishment came but it stopped. فَلَوْلَا كَانَتْ قَرْيَةٌ آمَنَتْ فَنَفَعَاهَا إِمَانُهَا So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here talking about Prophet Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam. 
سو فلولا كانت قرية آمنت فنفعها إيمانها إلا قوم يونس. Then you know when the punishment comes, no 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 قرية no village believes. When it starts to believe because they see the punishment that their iman in that in 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 Allah, then their accepting of iman at that time has benefited them. Illa qawma Yunus, except for the people of Yunus and Salatu Salam. Lama amanu kashafna anhu maadab. When they believed, then then we removed from them the punishment. Adab al khizi fi al hayat al dunya. From the humiliating punishment that was coming to them in this world, you know, they saw the clouds coming and they saw the punishment of Allah coming, and at that time they believed because and and Allah allowed them to believe and accepted their iman because the Prophet wasn't there to bear witness to the punishment that was coming upon them. Wa mata'nahum ilahin, and then we gave them some you know respite, you can say an allowance to see how now that they believed how they do to for a certain time. وَلَوْ شَاءَ رَبُّكَ لَآمَنَ مَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ كُلُّهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted, all of the people on the earth would have believed. فَأَفَأَنْتَ تَكْرَهُ النَّاسِ حَتَّى يَكُونُوا مُؤْمِنِينَ Oh Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, are you going to force the people until they become believers? This is not what the plan of Allah is. وَمَا كَانَ لِنَفْسٍ أَنْ يُؤْمِنَ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ And it is not... Subhanallah. It is not for any soul to believe except by the permission of Allah. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will place evil and, and filth upon those people that have no understanding. So, O Prophet, Look at the heavens and the earth, my creation. You know, if you're not going to believe if your hearts... Now, we've lived in a century, in, in a time of the most violence the human history has ever known. World War One, World War Two, more than... War is going perpetually all the time, right? The Meaning, it's been the worst time. And in this worst time of human violence is when we have denied Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most also. So this relationship is there. الْآيَاتِ What will be the benefit of the ayat of Allah to these people? What They're blind, right? There's it's no benefit to them. Or, or any warning. To a people that are not going to believe. فَهَلْ يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَّا مِثْلَ أَيَّامِ الَّذِينَ خَلَوْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ So do they wait, they wait except like the people before, okay? Do they want to wait like the people before? فَهَلْ يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَّا مِثْلَ أَيَّامِ الَّذِينَ خَلَوْا مِنْ قَبْلِ أَيَّامِ اللَّهِ This, do you want the same things, you're waiting for the same days that uh, like happened to Hud and Saleh and Nuh and all these prophets of Allah that they had to bear witness the punishment of Allah coming. Are you waiting for the same thing to happen to you? قُلْ فَانْتَظِرُوا Then wait. إِنِّي مَعَكُمْ مِنَ الْمُنْتَظِرِينَ I'm also waiting with you. ثُمَّ نُنَجِّي رُسُولُنَا وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Then we always saved our messengers and those who believed. كَذَلِكَ حَقَّ عَلَيْنَا نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And this is how it is in truth how we save all نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Is a right upon us. It is our right that we save the believers. قُلْ يَا يُحَ النَّاسِ إِن كُنْتُمْ فِي شَكِّمْ مِنْ دِينِ فَلَا فَلَا أَعْبُدُ الَّذِي تَعْبُدُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ وَلَكِنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهِ الَّذِي يَتَوَفَّاكُمْ وَأُمِرْتُ أَنْ أَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ All mankind, كل, oh, say Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, all mankind, إِنْ كُنْتُمْ فِي شَكِّمْ مِنْ, مِنْ دِينِ If you have any doubts about my deen, فَلَا أَعْبُدُ الَّذِي تَعْبُدُونَ Then I don't worship that which you worship, مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ other than Allah. وَلَكِنْ أَعْبُدُ الَّذِي يَتَوَفَّاكُمْ But I worship the one who's going to give you your death. وَأُمِرْتُ أَنْ أَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And I have been commanded of those people that believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأَنْ أَقِمْ وَجْحَكَ لِلْدِّينِ الْحَنِيفَةِ O Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, establish your face, your direction, okay, towards deen al-hanif, deen hanif, the deen that is single-minded, okay, وَلَا تَكُونَ النَّمْنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ And don't be of those people that make partners to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَا تَدْعُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ مَا لَا يَنْفَعُكَ وَلَا يَضُرُّكَ And don't call upon other than Allah which will not benefit you nor harm you. It could be an idol, it could be a person, it could be anything. 
فإن فعلت فإنك إذا لمن الظالمين. If you do that, then you are a wrongdoer. It doesn't mean that you don't do it within the world of cause and effect. You do it, but you have to ultimately know that nothing is going to benefit you, nothing is going to harm you, except by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِنْ يَمْسَسْكَ اللَّهُ بِضُرٍ فَلَا كَاشِفَ لَهُ And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala touches you with an evil, now this is the issue that the, the surah basically started with, and over here it is coming to an end with it. وَإِنْ يَمْسَسْكُ اللَّهُ بِضُرٍ فَلَا كَاشِفَ لَهُ If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to cause harm, then there's no one who can recover you from it, إِلَّا who accept him. وَإِنْ يُدْرِكَ بِخَيْرٍ فَلَا, فَلَا غَاضَ لِفَضْلِ يُصِيبُ بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ مِنْ إِبَادِي And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to bring good to you, there's no one who can return his fadl, his bounty. يُصِيبُ بِهِ he, he, It reaches بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ مِنْ إِبَادِي Whoever he wants from his servants, وَهُوَ الْغَفُورُ الْرَحِيمُ He is most forgiving, most merciful. قُلْ يَا أَيُّ النَّاسِ قَدْ جَاءَكُمُ الْحَقْ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ O mankind, truth has come to you from your Rabb. فَمَنْ اِحْتَدَى فَإِنَّمَا يَحْتَذِي لِنَفْسِي Whoever is guided, he's guided for his own self. وَمَنْ ضَلَّ فَإِنَّمَا يَظِلُّ عَلَيْهَا Whoever goes to the wrong way, he goes to the wrong way for against himself. وَمَا مَا عَلَيْكُمْ بِوَكِيلٍ And I am not over you an advocate. I'm not like a your, uh, you could say, caretaker or manager. What وَاتَّبِعْ مَا يُوحَى إِلَيْكَ وَاصْبِرْ حَتَّى يَحْكُمَ اللَّهُ وَهُوَ خَيْرُ الْحَاكِمِينَ وَاتَّبِعْ مَا يُوحَى إِلَيْكَ And follow that whichever has been revealed to you, O Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, wasbir and have sabr. I know that they're saying difficult things to you, they're persecuting you, they're, they're, they're not using their reason, but you have to have sabr. حَتَّى يَحْكُمُ اللَّهُ Until Allah's judgment comes, وَهُوَ خَيْرُ الْحَاكِمِينَ And He's the best of those who judge. So, Alhamdulillahi bi izzati wa jalali tatimmu salihat. Then over here, the translation of Sutul Yunus has come to an end. And then we will end this juz with a few, just six verses of Sutul Hud. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, inshallah, we start Sutul Hud now. Uh, over here, I want to just mention a few things that are important. Number one, Sutul Hud and Sutul Yunus, as I mentioned, are sister surahs. And uh, what's going to happen is, if you remember that uh, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam was mentioned in Surah Al-Yunus that we just read. Surah, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam will be mentioned slightly in this coming Surah Surah Al-Hud. And uh, then you also know uh, Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam will be mentioned in both Surahs, but in this next Surah, there will be a converse relationship. Over there, a little bit about Nuh was mentioned. Over here, a lot will be mentioned about uh, Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam. Over here, Surah Al-Yunus that we just read, a lot was mentioned about uh, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. Over there, just a little bit will be mentioned about Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. Also, you know, these are two surahs named after two prophets. So this is also common. Then one of these prophets is Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam, who left his, uh, his, his position where the punishment of Allah was coming, but then it didn't come. And then Hud alayhi salatu wasalam was another of one of those prophets that upon whom its nation suffered uh, by the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these two surahs, you'll see they have a strong relationship with each other. In Yunus, Surah Al-Yunus, you noticed perhaps that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked a lot about his creation. And Yudabbiru al-Amra, Yudabbiru al-Amra, Yudabbiru al-Amra, that aspect specifically, that how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has tadbir, has planning for his creation, is was mentioned over and over again. Now in Surah Al-Hud, we will just only do six, I think five ayat in, to finish the juz. Uh, but over here, I want to show you this also. Inshallah. <coughs> so we started with Surah Tawbah. It talked about the hypocrites and the believers and the true guidance. Then we just finished Surah Yunus. Okay, signs in the Quran, ingratitude, divine gifts, prophets and divine mercy, the friends of Allah, Prophet Nu, Musa and Yunus were mentioned. And now in Surah Al-Hud, we're just going to do a few of the verses, which we'll get to right now. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alif, alif Lam Ra. كتاب الأحكمة آياته. These uh, Quran, the book in whose verses were أحكمت, were made محكم, were made uh, like small surahs were given in the beginning. A lot of these small surahs, then they were exfoliated. So something compact was given, أحكمت, tight, strong, and then it was exfoliated. Or some things were given information about, and then more and more information was given after some time. So, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the details. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, 
made uh, they were compact and then after that it was exfoliated more and more details were given like an example of that we just passed was for example uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, says uh, about uh, for example um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said one thing about the halal and haram of making them the animals that they would do and then in the next surah Allah gave much more details and then in the surah so in the because the revelation is coming converse so just some small statement and then the next statements were more larger and then more more detailed each time so uh, so about the fact that the pagans of arabia they would make one animal halal the other haram so that's just slightly mentioned like for example in surah yunus but it was mentioned in a lot more detail in surah an'am this way so uhkimat ayatu thumma fusila this is one of its me meanings min ladun hakim khabir from the one who is wise and aware of everything completely Allah ta'budu illallah don't worship anything other than Allah inni lakum minhu nadhirun mubashir nadhirun wa bashir and i am from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a warner to you and i'm also giving you the good news okay the good news is this is not the only life there's another life and uh and, and if you look at the signs of Allah, you can see the signs of Allah. It should all be very clear. Istaghfiru Rabbakum thumma tuba tubu ilay. Istaghfiru seek forgiveness from your Rabb wa tubu ilay and turn to Him. You you matyakum mata an hasana. He, he regardless <coughs> in this world he'll he'll give you mata an hasana the good things of this world. Ila ajalim musamma until an appointed time. And he will give every soul its fadl, its bounty that it, it is written for it. And if they turn away, then say to them, O Prophet, I fear over you a day, a, a great day of punishment. You will return back to Allah, wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir, and He is over all things powerful. This ayah is one of those ayat that you can consider mushkalat. It is amongst the difficult ones to translate because there's so many aqwal, so many statements. I'm going to give you one translation, and then see how it goes from there. Ala innahum yuth yathnuna sudurahum. Because you know a lot of the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They now learned there's an Allah, He's everywhere. So they would try to cover uh, themselves, okay, and hide themselves uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you can say. And so when they would go to the bathroom, they would go through extremes, and when they would be taking a shower, they would be, go they'd be covering themselves up. So Allah says here, I, I don't, you know, I know everything even in your hearts. You can't really hide from me, okay? Allahum yuthnuna sudurahum liyakhfuna minhu. Okay, so Allah, they say, they bring up, they fold up their clothes to their chest, right? To hide themselves from Him, meaning from Allah. Know it well, that that you're trying to cover up yourselves up with your clothes, doesn't matter. He knows that which you hide and what you show. He even knows what's deep down in your chest. So don't go into like extremes regarding this. This is one opinion about what this ayah means. The second meaning or another meaning could be referring to the um, to the disbelievers, which is that they would fold up their or put a shawl over their chest or something like this in fear that somehow, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send angels or something will happen and Allah will know what's in their chest and it would be revealed to the Prophet. So this is a second possibility. But the first one is the one that I seem to agree with a little bit more. Again, this is one of the parts of the Quran that's difficult to interpret and translate. They fold up their chests, the clothes, so that you will hide from them, so they will hide from him. Okay. Know it well that whatever you cover up of your clothes, he knows what you show and what you hide and what you show. Indeed, Allah knows even what's deep down in the chests. Make sure to subscribe today and make sure you like and make sure you leave your comments and ideas.
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله